Hi, everybody, and welcome to Saturday Night Belch Sanity. Ah, oh, I forgot to fix my frame rate, and I gotta give the boys a voice. Uh, I was trying to build that up, sorry. There we go. You now have a voice. Did I, miss, did I miss you burping? Hold on. I'm gonna yeah, fix my camera. Me. Oh, I didn't have a voice. Uh, that would've been perfect. Burping. You got my me going. Ugh, it, it, it. S, S and I freaking fades in with me with a straight face going. I have gas. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no sound. No it's just sound. me lip syncing something. <laughs> Everybody had their opening statements all ready to go, and I ruined them all. You bastard! I'll, I'll You're get you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how I will get you for this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! I have an idea. I, I'm guessing. I have an idea. I'm guessing you ordered some other limited run games exclusive that I missed out on, and you're gonna rub it in my face for like Is months afterwards. World? Eric, did you get another world so you can rub it in his face? No, I don't have a switch. <laughs> no. so. You know, I, I don't have I mean, a maybe switch. Maybe we're gonna get this and buy a switch. Yeah, I, I, buy a switch. another world was announced uh, for a week from now. Hey, thanks for the sub, Panic! Um, but only for the Switch. But I don't care. I've got another world, like, several times over, like, in digital form. And I have the original Amiga version in the original packaging, so I'm good. I don't yeah, need right. any more versions of it. <laughs> Nerd! I also have the 3DO version, which is the version See, yeah. everybody hates, have, apparently. I think I have another world on PC. So. Yeah, I have another world on PC. What's the sequel called? There was, well, there was one called Another World 2 Heart of the Alien. Or Out of no. the World 2 Heart of the Alien. There's also Flashback, which is kind of flashback. a spiritual That's, sequel. Yeah. Spiritual sequel, sorry. Yeah. Not... yeah. Flashback was flashback. great. I think Flashback uh, I don't have. I don't have Flashback. But I, I've ha gotten the I have the remastered version of Flashback, which was uh, released on... Well, I have it on PS3. Um, and then uh, I, I also have the original Amiga version of that, too. Which was yeah, cool. I have. I've not played remaster. the remake yet. The twenty eighth anniversary, twentieth anniversary edition is what it's called. I, I have yeah. a very odd version of a, another world, actually. Yeah. Or out of this world. Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. um, I have the Dreamcast version. Ooh, nice. Do we know if the main character is named after the famous comic book artist Tower oh, Chicken? Oh, because the main character is named Lester Knight Chicken. Yeah. Um. I always just kind of assumed he was because I mean that's awesome. Eric Shahi is is pretty you know in tune with nerd culture. I think so. It wouldn't surprise me if he was if it was a reference. Howard Jenkins is one of my favorites. Just to put it in perspective, he's one of my favorite writers and artists. Howard Jenkins um, is great. Um, I his American Century is probably one of the greatest comics that has never been reprinted yeah. since its first run. It's a shame. I have uh, the Black Hawk miniseries that he did, the prestige format miniseries. I need to get that still. Which was really good. Uh, that was, I think, my introduction to Howard Chaikin. And then uh, I saw some of his other stuff around. I haven't seen a ton of his stuff, but I, I know he has, has yet to disappoint. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Skin Slip. Whoever you hey, are. Hey, Sean, did you know did you know that if you have an Amazon Prime account and you link it to Twitch, you can get a free Am a free Twitch subscription, and then you can use it here on your channel? Your that audience can do that right now. That's amazing. Holy shit. And like you're already no getting idea. your streaming service, you want to get a free sub, dude. Free sub? A yeah. free sub? Dude. So wait a minute. If I'm already paying for an Amazon Prime subscription, I don't have to pay any extra to support my favorite streamer through a subscription? Not at all. That's amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> uh, my, my, so that's one year on this Amazon Prime. Before that, I had subscribed on and off when I had money for a year, for like the last, since he has had you, the ability. You all, literally, yes. you all literally just sounded like one of those terrible infomercials that comes on Saturday morning. That was Amazon Prime? What's that? We've got to do it. got to promote it to get. I already yeah, shop on Amazon. What are the additional benefits I would receive? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, chilling out is like. Even when I was little, I was sitting there screaming, "Who talks like that?" <laughs> like, listen, like, we're not we're not shilling out. We're making fun of the fact that we have to shell out to to make yeah. our ends meet. So, but. Uh, just kind of <laughs> shilling out <laughs> as part of the process of making and, fun of shilling out. Oh, wait, out. there's more. <laughs> now fun. It's fun. Apparently, if you subscribe now, in the next 30 minutes, 
You'll get a free Ginsu! You get a free cheese grater, yeah. Free insignia towel. A $29.95 value. Free! I bought the Foreman grill. I got this free Foreman grill towel. Oh my god! Not a free Foreman grill. A Foreman grill towel. It is the cheapest towel on the planet with the word Foreman grill written in black text. That's right. With a Sharpie. With a Sharpie. We totally and I, I would like to uh <laughs> written over this, Hilton. This is, yeah. Is, <laughs> this is completely relevant to what we're talking about. Uh-huh. I'd like to uh Major Matoko literally we went live and all of our cameras went active for maybe ten seconds hmm. and he already noticed that that was Resident Evil Director's Cut playing on. <laughs> yes, I was looking at it. I'm, I always look I love how every week and I, I'm sure you do this intentionally, you put something different on that T V. Yeah, I always to try notice. to think throughout the week of what's <laughs> Because it started with, uh, it was Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. So uh, that was the first night I did it, was the uh, stream before Halloween. Okay, gotcha, yeah. And I just kind of like, I like that idea. I like, you know, because I, I kind of have all this going. So. And I'm like, this is just a big black spot. There needs to be something here. Yeah. No, it's good. It's it's great. And it, it fits right in because so. we talk about a lot of retro games and stuff too. So it's it's awesome. I, maybe I should do something similar because I have my CRT over there. I could literally just wheel it over. But, um, yeah, or just leave it where it is. Like it's a nice, yeah. framed-in shot. That's true. Your... I mean, maybe move it over a little bit so it's kind of behind you better. But yeah. But like anyway, it, so uh, I'm, I'm, at some point this year, I'm gonna rearrange my room and have a TV behind me. So, so we'll all funny. have random TVs. Yeah, playing different stuff. Be like, so it's those guys that have those CRT televisions behind them all the time. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just our thing. It's our jam. Um, so, of course, the significance to that, the Resident Evil 2 remake came out this week and yes. has just been taking Twitch by storm, apparently, which is why we haven't had any other options Every other than 1080p time. for the past few days. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry to those of you with slower computers. And the Anthem Open Alpha, too. Yes. My N64 has been on this whole time. I follow, like, Hi, Cass! Probably... Yeah, Luke. <laughs> I follow probably two dozen channels on that. Yeah. Uh... Twitch, mm-hmm. and my follow list has just been at least half Resident Evil 2 for three days now. Wow. And the other half has been Anthem. I swear yeah. to fuck. I follow, like... I've actually already seen a few people play oh, the Anthem. And I, the, I mean, uh, almost all the big streamers have been playing Anthem. And I'm just yeah. like, whatever, man. It's all about Skyrim. 2011, for the win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Resident Evil 2 a- Anthem. Resident Evil 2 Anthem Skyrim. Resident Evil 2 Anthem. Yeah, Resident... no. <laughs> they, I probably see, want to play now, though. See, I'm counting I'm on pe- you play it, so now I want to play it. See, I'm <laughs> counting on people coming to my stream when they're just so sick of watching people play Resident Evil 2 and Anthem and they just want something, anything different, even if it's Skyrim, which they've seen a million times. Yeah. And then you'll fire up the original <laughs> Resident Evil 2. That's right. <laughs> At least I'm not actually, the remake, guys. I have. I'm not actually doing <laughs> yeah, that. That's I'm right. actually streaming that. The original Resident Evil. I have. Um, I actually have the Resident Evil remake, which might be a nice way to kind of cash in on the RE2 yeah. craze. Oh. And I really suck at it, which I'm sure would make people want to watch me even more. Like the last time I played it. Yes, please. I played it. I like. I fired it up just to see what it was like. And you know how you, you you go in the room around the corner, and there's a zombie in the chair. And he turns mm. around, he sees a little cinematic. Yeah, that one killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Please play Resident Evil. Literally you... the first zombie <laughs> in the game. Oh, so wait, and did he you moves like, set really... the controller down and just go sit in the other room? He moves he really him? slowly <laughs> and gives you all the chances in the world to shoot him. Your, I, your I, character I... even automatically backs up I... for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can already imagine it. Sean goes around and he's like, Oh, oh, what? What do I do? What do I do? How do I do? What do I? What do you? No, no, no! What am I doing? None of these buttons work. Oh my god! Oh, oh damn! It. That was essentially it. it. I, I had no idea how any of the controls worked. <laughs> I'm like trying to shoot, and it's like I'm shooting, I'm shooting, and I'm out of bullets. Fuck! Now what do I do? Game was super, super limited in that game. Yes, I oh, discovered that. That, that was me in uh, Dungeons and Dragons: Eye of the Beholder. I could not figure out what the hell to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh this just takes me back to watching Sean's very first time playing GTA 3. Oh, God. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 3, yes. Yes. He's driving along and his car catches on fire. So I explained to him, oh, the car's on fire. You have to get out or it'll blow up. Oh, okay. 
So he pulls over, hits the button that gets out, and then stands there. <laughs> and I don't know what I, I think he confused which was the run button. Yes. And he hit the get back in the car button. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we literally watched on the screen as Claude gets into the car and like shuts the door and then boom! <laughs> 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 I just see, like, gets back in the car, shuts the door, puts the seatbelt on, turns on the radio. Like, Meanwhile, oh, on fire. I've accepted my fate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're just laughing our heads off. And John's, like, voicing as the character was just like, oh, I forgot my CD. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, it was signed by Phil Collins. I can't let that go. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Stewie's played, uh, is back to playing Resident Evil 4 for the 90th billionth time. Excellent. <laughs> I have never played it once. I have the HD remaster on the PS3. I, I, ironically, so. the first version of Resident Evil 4 that I played completely through and beat, had a lot of fun playing, was the Nintendo Wii version. Wii! With uh -huh. the motion control, because that's one of the very few games that I think on the Nintendo Wii where the motion controls made sense. Ah. So it made sense. Aiming was, like, amazing on for, like, point and like and fire. Kind of, those were also amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of put those in their own category. I'm talking about, like, full-on story-driven beginning-to-end type of games. Yeah. You know, there were, like, Red Steel, and there was... Uh, a bunch of other games like that, but they were all gimmicky and clunky and stuff like that. This was just, it just, the controls just made sense. It just worked really well. Yeah. And it worked well enough that I had played the PS2 version, the GameCube version, and stuff like that, and the, even the, uh, uh, an early PC version of it. And it was the Wii version that I actually played all the way through because I just could not put it down. It was so good. So, I mean, if, if you've never played Resident Evil 4, get yourself a Nintendo Wii and pick up the Wii version. Also, the Wii version is great because it has all of the content from the GameCube and the PS2 versions in one version. Nice. So it has, like, all the other costumes, <clears throat> all the secret weapons. And was all there the a chainsaw weapons. controller released for the Wii? Or is that 5? That was, that was 4. That was 4. Was that for the Wii also? A chainsaw no, controller? that was oh, for okay. the... Uh, PS2 and the, <coughs> and the Xbox, I think, also. Yeah, that is a god awful controller. Well, that that controller is one of my real <laughs> items, actually. Which one? I mean, it's a it's oh, a look, Resident Evil chainsaw controller. Oh, yeah, it is an amazing shelf piece. It doesn't have to work. I don't yeah. I don't care if it works. Yeah, I want yeah, it yeah, an homage to find one that works. It's an homage to Texas <laughs> Massacre, which don't is the reason money. why I want it. That's 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 it. That's why I want it. it. it it's a shelf piece because it's like a really damn model, good model chainsaw. Yeah. So, <sighs> so anything exciting happened in the world of geek today, other than Resident <laughs> Evil Two? That Resident Evil Two, size. or this week, <laughs> rather. Um, well, no, no, no sooner. Last week we talked about uh, how they're bringing back Unsolved Mysteries to Netflix. Right oh there. yes, there, there was something else announced. I know what you're yeah. doing. Oh, you While we were talking about that, like that one thing led to another, and we started talking about Rescue 911, and we're just, you know, I believe we even met, said, wouldn't it be great if they brought that back? Yeah. The very <laughs> next day, the very next day <laughs> it's announced. Yep. They're bringing that back worries. Rescue 911. William Shatner is attacked. He's hosting. Yes. Yes. And he's yes. Hosting it. And it's that's just like, perfect. Fantastic. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm so happy. I so cannot wait. It's, it's going to be great. We're going to have a new Unsolved Mysteries and a new Rescue 911 at pretty much the same time. It's the 90s again, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Ben. Joko Netflix is that announced they're doing a Resident Evil TV show. Yeah, it's that's right. It's yes. the 90s again. Bring back Slimer. Thinking of Slimer. <laughs> God. Bring yeah. back Echo Cooler, goddammit. Yeah. And bring out Crystal Pepsi. I'm surprised um, they... I mean, we are definitely yeah. in the thick of the 90s nostalgia. Break back everything from the 90s. Yeah. So, uh, another another thing from the 90s apparently coming back. I don't know if you guys may have talked about this yet before I got here. 
Um, there was a 15 second teaser video released onto the internet this week with Jeff Bridges in character as the dude. Oh, really? Oh. And all it says is February 3rd, 2019. Ah. And he just kind of looks at the screen and chuckles and walks off, and that's literally all it is. I can bet you it's a commercial or something. Yeah. yeah it could be, but I mean, it is Super Bowl Sunday, so. Ah, uh, yeah. It's going to be a Super but If it's not, maybe it's a commercial for that, that uh, John Turturro film focused on Jesus. Remember they were making that film? Whatever oh, happened. right, right, right. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a possibility. They filmed possibility. that movie, I think. I think yeah. they shot okay. that whole thing. So, so that it may, it may not be the dude. It may be Jesus. <laughs> yeah. No, but, I mean, yeah, the but the dude, dude, it, but the so. dude Which, would be in it, probably. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. the dude's yeah. the bad guy in it. Oh, my God. That'd be... What a <laughs> twist. Jesus is the good guy for the movie? <laughs> and, oh, it's the events of the movie from Jesus' perspective. But, That's like, right, yeah. And that'd he has be to amazing, just, uh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> eight, eight, Eight-year-olds, dude. Eight-year-olds. <laughs> eight-year-olds. Hey, dude. maybe it takes place before that happened. Maybe. So maybe he is actually a good guy. <laughs> maybe he got fucked over. Fuck up, Donnie. Was like, That's true. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if they got all three of them back. Oh, oh man. That would be amazing. That, is, that would be amazing. That is a prequel that I would watch despite them all clearly being a lot older. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a, I'd watch it for the sequel. I'd watch it no matter what. I'd yeah. watch it if none of the, it was not even related to Big Lebowski. Yeah. But by watching it, it clearly tells the same characters. I'd watch that shit. Oh, it was named, just them as different characters. Different, but I don't care. Them, it's Johnny. Yeah. 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 You know, it's Johnny and, and Joe Bowski and whatever. Like, go for it. <laughs> go for it. I don't care. I want to see these people act the end. It'd be awesome. Together. Yeah. That was a that great, is great trailer. Quite literally in my top 10, easily. Yeah. For I need to watch movies. that again. I've only seen it. God, I think I've only seen it all the way through once. And oh, that was wow. when I watched it for the first time with Mum. I thought it was oh. hilarious. She thought it was weird. <laughs> well, to be I fair, though, on a first time viewing, that's most people's take. Like, I actually thought it was kind of odd, too. Like, I certainly I laughed at some parts, I, but. I loved it. I, like, I it, immediately fell in love with those characters. Like, it was just, yeah. okay, now I get why everybody's so gaga over this movie. It's yeah. funny because it's actually one of the only fictional depictions of my hometown, Simi Valley. And it's oh. only just a sign on the road, and it's not even the right kind of sign. There's a real Simi Valley sign they could have used. <laughs> they used some weird sign on some road. <clears throat> hmm. um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Gilbert Godfrey, voice in Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, God. <laughs> and they never found the killer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's yeah. still at there. large. In fact, he could be watching you shower right now. <laughs> I am so proud to say that I actually got aficionados Chris to say it. Oh my god, he did. <laughs> to say did what? You know, somewhere? To say what? Know, he said it live on stream, so he, he said what? The unsolved mystery stuff. Oh, like, he was, yeah, he, just a bunch of unsolved he, mystery he, stuff. Like, can we get him yeah. in there? Can we get him to dance for us? Nice. Someone. <laughs> Chris, if you're watching, come and dance for us for like five minutes and go about. Come and dance for us. Dance, <laughs> monkey, Say dance. Hi, come promote yeah, your channel. No yeah. Come promote your channel and everything. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> he just likes yes, streaming. That's where the new Lebowski movie might be about, Stad. We already talked about that. So, yeah, uh, you guys should also check out Fishing Out of Chris's channel. He does live streaming. He's good. He's yeah, good he dude. does. He does live streaming. He does videos. He uh, He's an excellent puppeteer. And uh, does some terrific uh, voice impressions. Just generally I, really cool I guy. I appear on his live streams once in a blue moon because I'm bored and I jump in their voice channel when they're all doing stuff. Cause yes. I'm a mod server. I, actually, so am I. I should jump in randomly more often. You should. I'm such an antisocial bastard. Same. <laughs> no, I get, like, I, I'm like, I'm really super moody. So when I'm not moody and, and, like, and like sad and depressed, I'm on stream. Like, that's it. That's pretty all much. I do. I stream. Yeah, pretty much. Same here. Lately, I'm, I'm finally getting over the holiday blues. Like the holidays always hit me hard. Yeah, same here. My family doesn't celebrate like any holidays, so it's like it's really hard watching people like being all happy and celebrating. And, and I've yeah. never really done a gift thing, and it's just like ah, it's weird. Yeah, like we give each other like one thing as like a gesture of like we love each other. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. This year, I actually, yeah, you, you know. You get the, here's here's what I got. This is with the gift card. This is my pickup. Yay! Venom. Which volume is that? 
Uh, that's the volume. Um, no, which number? 18. 18. 18. Okay. Yeah. I need to go. get 17, which is Frame Glass Hunt. Oh, yeah. Good one. Um, which isn't in print in any other form except that Epic Collection. So yeah. I need that. I need to. I've only got volume one. I need to get. Thank you, Conan. The rest. <laughs> You know, it's funny you mentioned that. I've been thinking of shaving off my beard ever since I saw uh, Ted Cruz grow a beard. Now I'm just like, well, you're growing <laughs> yeah, beard. you've ruined beards. You've ruined beards for me. Okay, yeah. Is he trying to look more distinguished or something? Or? He just looks more creepy. <laughs> yeah, he does actually. Like, yeah, a serial killer, basically. <laughs> Wait, what? me? Fuck you. That's, no, not you. Cruise. No. Are you Ted Cruz? <laughs> if you are, your disguise I is could amazing. Be. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Next time on Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Thank you, JL. Dick. I need coffee and I think a pork chop. I'll be back. In the coffee? Um, yeah, I was just done. <laughs> I just picture him just done. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> coffee, pork chops. I watched the Meg today. Delicious. Was it? Was that everything you hoped it would be? No. Damn. Yeah. Shut up. Is it close to what you hoped it would be? Shut up. No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's not a bad movie though. It's still a seven out of ten, six out of ten. It's like it's a solid action year, but there's like five out of seven. Like the movie, like. Reference to the book with some of the things that happens, but nothing in the book happens. No characters have names for the characters in the book, but other than Jonas, no one really acts like jo- like they, they should. No one really is the same character. They're just they're just just names. So it's kind of like as a, someone who fell in love with this novel twenty years ago, I'm disappointed. <laughs> but as someone who loves movies with giant killer monsters. Didn't, didn't know a pork chop and it's coffee would be awful. so agonizingly painful. Yeah. <laughs> so I have very, very mixed feelings about it. So. Um, kitchen disasters are at hand. It's I know. Danger but don't go. <laughs> Dunking pork chops in the late. <laughs> the latest coming to Tim Hortons. <laughs> Dude, reminds I, me of a, it reminds me of a, a messenger conversation I had with Quack a while ago where he was like, hey, what's up? I was like, oh, I'm just going to Tim's for a coffee. And he's like, oh, the Dunkin' Donuts of the North. And I was just like, you take that back. (laughs) (laughs) Michael says, I don't know how I feel about Big Lebowski spinoff. I wouldn't go being an asset, but I feel they should leave that film alone. Kind of how I feel about Baba Hotep maybe getting a sequel. Here's my thing. They're not doing anything to the original film. They did leave the original film alone. The original films are on my shelf. So whatever they do here has no effect on that movie. Mm-hmm. Okay? And if you don't want to watch the sequel, don't. That's fine. But you understand, whatever they do now will never have an effect on what has already been put to celluloid. Yeah, like, that's, that's what I was trying to say to a friend of mine who, when I shared on Facebook recently that uh, Good Burger might be getting a sequel, they just completely flipped out over it. I'm like, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Hey, guys. You're all fat and weird. <laughs> oh my god, really? Thank you, stupid. Get <laughs> fucked. Thank you, Iceman. There. Just projecting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, fat. Yeah, I'm weird. So fucking what? Man, we're seeing a lot of trolls. Like it's a big old it's a quote Peter Capaldi. Giant. Lick my sweaty ball sack, you fat fuck. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. God, I love his delivery of that line. I need to see all of that. We were that. talking about that earlier in Sean's live stream about how those were some of my first thoughts when we found out that Peter Capaldi was going to be the doctor. Yeah. It was just, he was just going to be running around just in, insulting I, I, incredibly. I, 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 <laughs> all the, doctor in history. You know, it says all the other doctors, you know, are, you know, witty and oh, but they're so kind and, and, and doing all this stuff like that. And then here comes Peter Capaldi and it's just like shock and horror. You know? <laughs> Calling hey, it like it is, it I, just verbal insults out the ass. <laughs> all right, I got, I got it. Here, hun. We are the weirdos, mister. There you go. Movie reference. Bam. <laughs> Ten points you know where that's from. If you don't know, that's, that's from Shame on You. Um, it's just a shame on you. Just go watch shame. it. Shame. 
Shame. Hey. Ring, 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 ring. There you go, Greg. Shame. It's from the Fuck craft. It. There you go. Uh, Fuckity bye. There you go. <laughs> Fuckity <laughs> bye is a great one, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. It, it, if you haven't seen The Craft, go check it out. It's a really good movie. You'll probably enjoy it. That's it's that's what I'm saying. I'm actually going to shame anybody anyway for not seeing it. All right? Just... But anyways, Good Burger. Finally the Blue Ray. Finally good Burger. The Blue Ray. It is. Fuck yes. What was that? I'm down, I'm down with a Good Burger sequel. Or, or my I other... have no interest in that, but go for it. Or my, my other personal favorite insult from Shaun of the Dead. Get fucked, four eyes. Yes. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> like well that's why that's my my new insult my la- new insult lately is just to yell get fucked at somebody because clearly if they're insulting me or I have a problem with my life they just need to get laid because they're bothering because they have enough time to come troll me they need to get look look if you have they enough need to time get to fucked. Troll me, they need to get fucked all right because you're doing something wrong with your life you're getting laid and you're busy bothering me all right go get laid instead of bothering me dumb it, dumb shit unless you can't then get fucked what have I walked in on. Uh, yeah. someone, someone called us fat and weird, and I was like, "We are oh. the weirdos, Mister." And then oh, we, we started in all the all the and Simon Pegg quotes. Nice, we are the weirdos, <laughs> Miss. Watch out, but I'm right. weirdos. That's uh, I got to get the Blu-ray of that. Thank you for reminding yeah. me. Yeah, Angel was just mentioned that it's, it's a new. It's just coming out. I love out. the craft. I haven't watched it in so long. <coughs> I have no interest in owning. it. I think it's a good movie, but I just I, I'm not going to rewatch it. My girlfriend loves it, so she, I'm going to give you. It. <laughs> So we will it. give you an internet cookie if you can guess our combined weight and amount of neck beards. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Man, like that's all my beard, dude. It's almost all neck. <laughs> all my power comes from my neck. <laughs> I'm gonna change all your power. And the internet cookie we'll give you is an oatmeal raisin cookie in chocolate chip packaging. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and we, and we can't it. guarantee You're that those monster. are raisins. You're a goddamn monster. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of monster fun are you? You fun what Nazi. You <laughs> fun Nazi. <laughs> so you never do that to somebody. <laughs> no, oh, I bet I would do that to the internet trolls. We're going to guess our combined weight. That's right. And amount of neck beard. Yeah. <laughs> amount of neck beard. We have approximately uh, one and a half skin slips <laughs> worth of neck beard. Oh, God. The other half would be Stout Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I got a, got a good amount of uh, a, 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 and a and a third. I got, I got a neck beard. <laughs> oh, and a and a, yeah. another third. <laughs> me, me and Angel make a half. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You, got, you two have like a full like luscious beard. If you combine your beard, your hair together, you have a nice like mine's a big scraggly mess, right? Stab <laughs> ginger field and like ginger oh, field. <laughs> If you guys combined beards, you'd have like a nice length beard, like a nice respectable beard. No one would ever call you out on it. No one would say, "Wow, uh, maybe you should shave." They'd be like, "That's a nice beard, man." Like, yeah, I know, right? Me, I, I get, I like your beard every now and then. Weird because mine, <laughs> like on the sides, you can't really see it. But if I let it grow out any longer, it kind of the hair kind of comes out and does this. <laughs> okay. It like it yeah, like yeah. it starts growing out like that. So it's just like same thing. I have to do this. So then you'll look like morning. a cat. This, Pretty much. This is all like this in the morning, so I have to literally brush it down every day. Yeah, so I get just, it. just picture a cat with a like triangular shaped neck beard. See, I, <laughs> to be I, to be I didn't realize that when I got older, I would just get Wolverine beard because I literally my hair is <laughs> Wolverine thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm like, I want to get my hair cut like Wolverine sometime, just just because I can pull it off finally. It, it's it's mostly because that, that Wolverine the beard underneath here actually grows up mm-hmm. and the beard up top yeah. grows down so they combine and go like that. That's what this is, right? <laughs> so. Most people compliment me. They usually say, wow, you look like you've got a bunch of long puffy hair on your mouth. Like, wow, you're too busy trolling me. You haven't seen a pussy, obviously. But, but I, I will <laughs> happily admit that this beard that I have here has not seen a razor <laughs> in 10 years. Oh, hold on. No, uh, the craft is not out yet. It comes out okay. on March 12th in a Scream Factory mm-hmm. special edition. With slipcover. With slipcover. And a poster if you order from Scream Shout Factory. Yeah. Scream Factory. 
that's up to those. Uh, you can't do it because it's honestly like 50, not it's wild about the new artwork, but um, I don't really. Care I'll, I'll get it for the slipcover anyway, just to have. I, my girlfriend wants. The, I'm pretty sure she likes the movie, so I'm sure. I'm oh, sure I, I I'll love it. it. I'll, I'll definitely get yeah. it. Uh, yeah, my pre-order is already paid for. I'm very excited for it. Nice. Pre oh, pre-order is actually pretty cheap right now too. It's like ten bucks off. How mm. much is it for you? <clears throat> well, on Amazon CA, it's twenty three oh nine. Normal. Wow, that's actually a pretty good price for Canada. Mm -hmm. I expected almost thirty normally. It's for it usually is about thirty. Yeah. For those. Oh, I wonder how much that is here. <clears throat> Real quick. I might uh, might have to check that out. Problem is, I just don't have any fucking money to spare right now. I'm just trying to get the bills paid. So. Thirty bucks U.S. here, Jesus. And I already yeah. shelled out for one pre-order, which was the uh, Criterion edition of In the Heat of the Night. Oh, I knew you'd get that. Yeah, I couldn't wait. I on saw that like oh, well, either. Ring the alarm. We have the mom's basement troll. Ooh! Oh, really? Park your bingo yeah. card, kids. Where? I don't see him. Right there. already? Oh, tell no, other. I haven't touched oh no, it's it's oh, the it same is. person. Oh. It was the same person. Um, yeah. Same person. I under thought a about name. it. So His cool. His first one wasn't really all that insulting. You just dude, call it like, a why does a really small apartment even an insult? What the fuck? You, you're stupid, yeah, man. What the fuck? Get more creative. Please be more creative with the troll. Come on. Well, yeah. The I thing may is, be in a so basement, so. but I also I own the to... house upstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have a spacious two bedroom. I want, to, I want to put it. Sorry, guys. I just want to put it out there for Major Matoko. Check out my channel, Eldritch Secrets. I did a closer look at the Waterworld set. So. Oh, wow, nice. There, there you go. go. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I just want to say, and I mean, for me, I'm in a spacious two-bedroom apartment, which is the former manager's place. My apartment here is bigger than the managers of the building. I literally have the biggest apartment in the entire building. So, but you don't understand, Sean. If you're not a millionaire in a mansion, then you just don't have your life. Together. Then you're just a failure at life, apparently. Like you know? if did, they'll they'll say you. you if you're renting you a room with your there. parents, they'll say you sucked your dick, sucked enough dick to get there. That's meanwhile, the meanwhile. Said. The people who make these complaints, they themselves are likely living in their mom and dad's basement, never worked an actual day in their lives, or they have an even smaller place and are an even yeah. bigger failure. Yeah. So, like, like, saying, like, <coughs> you have the time to go around fucking talking shit about people, then you don't have your fucking life together. Allow me to get it savage for a minute, exactly. sir and or ma'am. <laughs> if you feel like you need to troll me, perhaps you should realize that. that you are projecting the inner turmoil and pain of your current sad life. I am so sorry you were trapped in a dead end <laughs> job with nowhere to go, and your only source Dude. Of, of entertainment is to troll us. I, I feel so bad for you. This I is really hope you get help. This is logical and reasonable, hence pointless to mention to them. They're not going to listen. Uh... No, I hope you, I hope you suffer in your pointless, meaningless existence. I hope you go to work tomorrow mad and fuming that we're doing things that, and enjoying ourselves and making <laughs> you're not. I hope, and making I hope a living jealous. doing something we enjoy. Yeah, I hope you're uh, jealous. I hope you feel trapped. Maybe a meager living, but it's a living. I, feel, I hope you feel like you are and trapped in your situation. It. I hope you feel like you can't get out. I hope you feel like you have no option, even though you obviously do. But you're too fucking lazy and narrow-minded that you're busy trolling me. I hope you feel that every fucking day. I hope you feel that suffocation when you're going to bed. And I hope it gives you panic and despair at every fucking moment. Get fucked, loser. Damn. The inner <laughs> machinations of my mind are an enigma. Hey, man. Look, look man. I can turn it on when I need to. I can be a real fucking savage motherfucker. And these people are sad and projecting. When someone is saying something about you, it's a projection of themselves. Because mm -hmm. they are sad and lonely and miserable, and they feel like they have no way to change their life. But you can fucking Thank change you your life, you fucking loser. Just do it. Don't tell me you don't have time. Don't care. I don't care how fucking tired you are. Sit in front of the computer, turn the fucking streaming machine on, and stream for two hours before you go to bed. Every fucking night. Do it, or shut the fuck up, you loser. There you go. That's it. Do it. Stop trolling me. God. Get a life. Um, absolutely agree with you, but I just have to point out, world class croquet champion came out and just said, "What's with all the negativity?" Oh, I guess he only oh, just came in, so he all literally all he's heard in the stream is just, "You're all losers," and you all. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting on a troll, guy. Don't worry about it. It's yeah, good. yeah, we're not always like this. No, no we, we just had a stream of trolls come in 
Yeah. And we just they just need to know that they need to get it fucked and, and like, yeah. I'm just pointing you know, out. Welcome to the We like, Hate All These People channel. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? What the Discord, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's funny? <laughs> I, I want to laugh too. <laughs> and the Discord, dude. Oh, okay, hold on. Who is God. Discord? What is? See? See? I fucking told. That's why. Our chat is making. <laughs> what are you babbling about? What's going on? Chat is making memes of us. What is general, general chat in. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to actually exit out of here. I love you, buddy. Uh, you're, Mike. you're amazing, dude. I. <laughs> general chat in Discord. Okay, Different here we go. Color, but like, do you, do you understand now? Try putting why salt you on them. Anymore. Mushrooms <laughs> might be from space. All the way. Oh, oh god. <laughs> What is that on face? What is that? Anyone yeah. see the resemblance? That is that is the that is the ass <laughs> that is stunk that is dead on his face. I can tell you that right now. You need to you need to give yourself some white hair right here. <laughs> Show this man how it's done. Is what I'm saying. Uh huh? That's just creepy. That's I know, creepy. right? That's terrifying. Ah, <laughs> oh, here it goes. It, oh yeah. god. You are the Zodiac Killer. I knew it. <laughs> I mean, oh, it. Oh, my, oh my God! It all you makes sense. Years. Weren't you? Aren't you a former Mormon? What? <laughs> you a former, oh my God! He's been found out. I'm sorry. I just added you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, didn't mean that, like, I didn't mean to dead dead. Asshole. I didn't mean to dead, 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 dead. I'm sorry. I apologize. My bad. <laughs> but why would you? Apologize I got coffee. For that? I'm apologizing to you, motherfucker. Why are you apologizing yeah, to Ted Cruz, a.k.a. Hey, the Zodiac Killer? <laughs> Leave Ted Cruz alone. <laughs> He's paid for his crimes. <laughs> Shush, Ted. Oh, no, You're dude. When I get the... Yeah, so whoever this Ted to... Cruz guy is, he is, a, I'm sure, a perfectly... Sane individual. Find <laughs> sane. Find upstanding <laughs> citizen. And when I go visit my girlfriend, I'm going to get a mo. I'm going to shave most of my head. Hair is gone. I'm getting mohawk and cutting the hair. Oh, cool. I'm getting rid of the beard. I've always wanted a mohawk, so I'm getting a purple mohawk. Do it. I'm doing it. Fucking a. Before yeah, you start getting a bald spot, we'll do it. I'm not going to go bald. But that's not how my family works. All right, that's what I thought I have too. Thick Native American <laughs> hair. Keeps the beard like, at its current length. And well, then, yeah. like, thick jeans, giant. Well, m most of my men in my family died thick heads of hair. Yeah, it's good so it doesn't lose jeans. hair. It just moves. Your hair is made of denim? Yeah, dude. It's why it's so thick. <laughs> she said, boom. It okay. has rivets in it. <laughs> well, I got I have to. Rivets and large metal buttons. I got to <laughs> pin this meme. It's got forever <laughs> pinned here. <laughs> forever. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so uh, hairy there, or you're a fucking loser. <laughs> Everyone hates even your mom. Don't be disappointed, your mom. She's a great lady. I told her last time I fucked her. Now show up to that tonight. <laughs> God. That was Sean, man. He he posted that shit. What? What did I do? In general, uh, like oh, oh shit, remember? yeah. I was in a weird mood when I wrote that, too. That's, like, not yeah, even dude. something I would normally write. <laughs> no, it isn't, which is why it's hilarious. Where was, <laughs> it, where was it here? Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, for SNI, be there or you're a fucking loser that everybody hates, even your mom. Don't be a disappointment yep. to your mom. She's a great lady. I told her so the last time I fucked her. <laughs> I, I love so much in that shit. Forever. Oh, yeah, because that, that is so, that's like, totally... that is so not the kind of joke I normally make, but it was... It's hilarious, anyway. <laughs> not to advertise a live show. What I want, featuring God. Come to our yeah, show, or I'll fuck your mom your again. All of you, it's a meme that will be there forever. You fucked their moms. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Leave yeah. my mom out of this. Well, it just reminds me of uh, uh, not just that, but also like dealing with immature, unoriginal trolls and that. Yes. Um, it's a clip actually Eric and I watched. Uh, it's this guy on YouTube, uh, Air Force Proud. Okay. And he does all sorts of like trolling and flight sim games and stuff like that. Okay. I, 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 so, so often. 
Yeah, and so he had one where he's like with uh, a group of people playing and so like that. And so some guy, I guess, came into their chat stream, like their voice chat, and yeah, he made some kind of like a your mom joke. Yeah, and there's just like this silence, and then the one guy's like, <laughs> "Yeah, you're pretty original. Yeah, just get out of here." So then he starts like the troll guy like starts trying to argue uh -huh. with the guy, like you know. So tell me where you fit in with you know like all this sort of stuff. <laughs> I don't know where another guy just like. Dude, shut the fuck up. You're playing Flight Simulator at 3 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so brilliant. You're not one to talk about loserness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Flight Simulator 3 in the morning. Yeah, dude, I, I follow yeah. that guy, too. I don't uh, know how I found... I found that guy's video while I was shitting. It was one of the recommended videos. <laughs> so I saw follow this guy called Soviet Womble, or just, like, these hilarious fucking videos about games I would never play, Arma, and, like... And like these other hold fast, these other weird sims. But him and his friends love these historical sims, and they run around memeing while also trying to like sim out battles and shit. And there's a guy called Happy Hitler, and <laughs> everyone's like, "Oh, why am I taking advice from Hitler?" Like everyone, like there's all these <laughs> friends call themselves Happy Hitler. Chris, uh, Marty, uh, yes, get in here. Marty, Chris, get in here. We were talking about you earlier, bro. There's uh, there's one yeah, he did. Eric and I were we just like pissing ourselves laughing where he. He goes into a military aircraft only server, and he's oh, fine. And like one of the guys goes out, he's like, uh, "You have to be in military aircraft. We're gonna kick you." And he's in a seven forty seven. He's like, uh, "Yeah, well, this is Air Force One, so therefore it counts as a military <laughs> aircraft." <laughs> well, like, I felt that it just shows his screen, but it was like kicked from server. <laughs> he's like, "Sorry about that, guys. There's some confusion there, but I am now in a military grade aircraft." Now. And he's in like an ultralight kite aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> And then again, it's like kicking kick, kick them, and they keep. And he keeps coming in as like all these different like assassins. So like, uh, he, <laughs> yeah, he comes back. The least the military place. He's, he's like, I, guys, I really do apologize for the confusion, but now I have chosen a military aircraft. Now like that, and then it cuts to the outside view, and he's in a Remax balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> that sounds. Yeah, there's like, there's awesome. a guy that I follow who's very much like that. <laughs> and he does a lot of stuff in VR. He's called the Lone Viper. Oh, oh my god! And okay, it's a YouTube channel where Deadpool plays games in VR. Okay, this guy <laughs> he dresses like Deadpool. His logo is like Deadpool, and he sounds like him too. Yeah. And it's just, it's oh my god, it's so funny because <laughs> it's just he's very super witty. He's one of those he can come up with jokes like on the fly, super quick. To be to do a proper Deadpool, you need that ability for sure. Yeah, and he nails it. Yeah, so, and it's just oh my wow. god! Wow, clearly been... Chris was not expecting to be here today. <laughs> Looking his Hi, best. Chris. That's some awesome bedhead, dude. Thank you. Oh, I thought that hair, was dude. a giant cup of coffee, but it's your microphone. Never mind. No, no, that's just hair, dude. That's, hair, <laughs> no, that's not coffee. That's my hair. Like, that's you think I Chris... wake up looking this good? No, Chris always looks like that. That's how Chris picture you. It takes hours to establish this look. I don't think I've seen Chris with like clean cut hair outside his videos for like years now. First Every time I, I talk, Chris I don't even picture. have clean cut hair in my videos. Why do you think I wear the hat? Yeah, well, that's your point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying like I don't think I've, I, I've, I've video chatted with you on and off for like yeah. four years, five years now, see, right? And like mm -hmm. you've never had a like combed hair. See, I no. I just rely on the headphones to hold what little hair exactly. I have down. So, uh, well, you also <laughs> you also have that uh, that whole thing about you know I have not paid for a haircut in twenty years. Showing oh, your yeah. hair clippers. Hell yeah! Best twenty oh, bucks Lord. I ever spent was that. That's right. Yeah, best shave twenty bucks trimmer. I ever spent. Yeah. But like, you're basically just you're shaving yourself bald to save <laughs> to save so much money. <laughs> <Pretty> much. <laughs> well, to be fair, month. I use the number five length setting most often. Sometimes the number sure. seven, so it's not completely bald. <laughs> <laughs> to put it's it just in about the evening it out of how much <laughs> I had no like. Because first of all, I forgot it was even Saturday, and. <laughs> S and I tend, S and I tend to be, yes, okay. yes. So tell what he's won, Trebek. <laughs> you telling your voice? Well, I just wake up. They were like, you were like, get in here. We're just talking about shit. I got to put a shirt on. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> you yes, literally. Yes. Wait a minute. What? Well, that's what I was gonna say. I'm just picturing Chris just like waiting to get an invite, and then the moment we're like, yeah, Chris, you, know, you should come in. He just scrambles to come shit. in. And like, they, they actually want me to come in. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. Wait a minute. So, so hold it. You, you, you're not living in the United Kingdom right now, correct? No. <laughs> what? Yet, and what? Which coast are you on? It's in Arizona, I think. Yes, West so, Coast. So West Coast. So it's nine fifty-five p.m. You just no, got 10, out of bed. Ten fifty-five p.m. Ten fifty. Oh, you're an hour ahead. Okay. Well, that's the, yeah. well because you just Arizona got out of bed. So, yes. <laughs> Arizona. The fuck? I thought I had a messed up sleep yeah. schedule. <laughs> well, do you know? Do you know why my no. sleep schedule is messed up? I don't. Please do because tell. I have a job that uh-huh. is incredibly ir- uh, irregularly scheduled. Ah, because oh. since I work, I do contract work for other YouTubers. You know, ones that actually have successful YouTube careers. Hey, just hold that thought. So not us. Hold that thought. You got air horned into oblivion there. Uh, I did. Now, what was that after you said Arizona? <laughs> well, for one, the reason it's 10 and not 9 over here is because Arizona is literally the only state on the West Coast that doesn't have daylight savings. I think it's because the only it's the only state that doesn't have daylight savings because there's too much daylight that we don't need to save, so we don't, we don't do it. We also, have a so surplus of daylight. Yeah. We haven't been in World War II in 50 years. We don't need to observe this anymore. Exactly, I agree. but I think the you uh, just stop already. because because of the uh, living tombstone. I, I think you know that guy. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. Music. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I think the music, the, the the spooky, scary skeletons remix guy. That would be the one you would know. Yes, I think yeah. he you, flagged you one of my home. videos. I just watched one of the videos. <laughs> song in it. I, just, I watched one of the videos <laughs> in which you edited. I'm like, hey, look, Chris edited this video live on yeah. stream. Back. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I love his, I his remix. Actually, his remix of that has become a, sta- a staple of Halloween season every year since he's I aware. It. Yeah, he's aware because it pays for better things. <laughs> it's, it's great. I love it. Like, good times. And I don't even like dubstep usually, but that one's just so much fun. That how no, I don't even. I don't it? even really like most of his music, but yeah. I like the money. Yeah. So yeah. Well, money, money is good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I am subscribed. I think I, I like maybe. A fifth of the songs they put up, just not yeah. my style. I'm I haven't listened to a lot of his other music. Usually, just that one, <laughs> over but and yeah. over I and over. Up the latest video, and I was like, "What is that? Oh, producer! It looks Chris is a producer on this one. Look at that!" <laughs> I was Very gonna cool. say though, that yeah. there's a reason why people who have a job that allows them to work at home, are, you have no obligation to go outside. You have no obligation to look good. Yeah. Who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. true. This right here is the example well, okay. of that method of the, who do I need to impress? Well, see, the I only, work here. The only <laughs> obligation to look good is to at least tart yourself up a little bit if you're going to be live streaming, but just sure. look, yeah. look somewhat but presentable. Even still, <laughs> like the, like the difference, especially on, on a show like this where I, I like me where and the rest of care. us. you just don't care. Well, no, 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 no. Because... Because of the fact that on this particular live stream, where we take up at least two thirds of the screen, yes, as opposed to other live streams of the sort, right. on mine where I only take up maybe a fourth, because oh, okay. I I deliberately make my camera smaller and the gameplay larger, because obviously you should be focusing on the gameplay and not my mug. Yes, but because of that obviously that means you don't see a lot of details like no. oh. Uh, there's a crumb in his tooth right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, from, yeah from the I, lunch he ate oh, before he yeah. Yeah. No, I do the, the same with my... I have is that I make sure I change... If I have a shirt on... Oh, wait, did I wear the shirt on the stream yesterday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that should definitely change my shirt. Yeah. That's the only consideration. <laughs> like, uh, I just... Uh, uh, shirt I am in such a it. fucking... Like, I don't even know what shirt I'm wearing right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just grabbed a I think a, it's a, a Mortal shirt Kombat like, shirt from what I can see there. Whoo. Um, oh. oh, so nice. it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do the same with my game streams. Basically, just I have the, the the camera is much smaller than what oh. you see here. Oh, there's blood all over it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> get over here! But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you want you want the camera up, especially if you're playing something <laughs> yeah. scary or emotional. You want people to be able to look over and see you screaming like a girl or crying like a girl or just generally being feminine in some way. Um, and not the like sorry, stereotypical definition of masculinity, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, the trend there. and other stereotypical things, and other stereotypical <laughs> things that people do when they play video games. But yeah. uh, what even, what even yeah. was 
Like, what even was the subject? Why the fuck bring me up? <laughs> oh, it all started with your hair. <laughs> oh, no, before that, Sean. Like, oh, oh, that's why how we you lured about... me in here in the first place. Oh, we were oh, talking. Oh, we were talking yeah. about unsolved mysteries and the whole oh, idea oh, of, oh, of, yeah. of, of Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert of Godfrey Gilbert Godfrey hosting go said, unsolved mysteries. And yeah. I said, "Can we get Chris in here to dance for us for a minute?" Thank yeah. you, like Vice said, President Dan Quayle, for the follow. <laughs> oh, that's an old one. Oh my god! Now go I, I, I actually I remember the oh, unsolved thing because uh, Stoud went to one of my live streams yeah. mentioning that very thing. He's like, Sean and the crew and I were talking about if Godfrey hosted unsolved mysteries, and uh, they like donated money and then like a large thing for me to read in the voice. Oh, like, I, oh I see. Okay. I haven't really watched yeah. Uncalled Mysteries. So. Yeah, man, don't okay. do it again with another block of text. Let's make him dance. Funny. There you go. Dance monkey. <laughs> we never solved the mystery of the hash slinging slasher of New Jersey. Fucker <laughs> 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 is still out there just doing his thing. If you see this crude sketch, someone who vaguely looks like this, then be sure to call the number on the screen. <laughs> vaguely. <laughs> and, and, and the one who uh, has never actually seen Unsolved Mysteries, I've just seen it like spoofed a lot. Oh. Like, in, in like basketball and such. So I've never actually seen an episode. Oh, you need to so I, I don't know what Robert Stack says. Oh, okay. So if often. you... Have Amazon Prime. You can watch. Yeah, every which I do. Yeah, you can yeah, watch every episode. I mean, there, ever. there's a line. Jesus. All you have to do, all you have to say, man, is please come, like, lean into the camera and just go, come help us solve this mystery. <laughs> <laughs> come uh, help us solve this mystery. Perhaps you can help solve a mystery. That's what it is. You can help solve this mystery. <laughs> what happened to my sex appeal? I don't know. My wife hasn't touched me in 30 years. I think the best was an excerpt from Gilbert Gottfried reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh. <laughs> I've been like a thousand times. And when he oh, touches my clitoris. <laughs> Leave it to the professional <laughs> cast. I know it's full of you need to well, make a channel called Gilbert Reads, and you just read Wikipedia pages in Gilbert Godfrey's voice. Uh, you will make so much fucking money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that that really I think it's actually tech. I, I looked into this because I thought about doing like a Fiverr thing where it's like, you know, for $5, dollars i will read anything oh, in a Gilbert Godfrey voice. But apparently there's like a legal problem there that yeah, you're technically I think so. impersonating somebody, and that can get you into like yeah. some trouble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, because obviously you don't want Gilbert Godfrey going. I never said that! Yeah. Or did I? I don't remember! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that doesn't sound anything like me! Like, this is like, at, least, at least in the context of here that you see my face and the voice coming out of it, it's like, well, that's not Gilbert well, yeah, God, obviously. obviously. Yeah. obviously. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah. read, yeah. like, bad fan fiction or something. Like, <laughs> I swear to fuck, I've done I, would that. Subscribe, yeah. I would share those videos. Well, <laughs> one of the most viewed videos on the channel that I have unlisted for... Uh, Professional reasons is uh, Gilbert Godfrey reading Shrek is Love, one of the that that uh, meme oh, fiction oh God. thing. <laughs> why, yeah, why I think the thing has like forty thousand views or something. Why Holy is shit. it un un unlisted for professional reasons? Confused because you don't want to, you know, send emails to people, you know, like. And then the most viewed video on your channel is a green Gilbert Gottfried reading about someone getting fucked in the ass. So. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I could use the views. I'm just well, saying. Hey, hey, they I say, mean, look, hey, if you if you want Gottfried <laughs> things, you just have to uh, ask. I mean, I mean, Kevin Kevin Smith says the key to fame and fortune is dick and fart jokes. So, and uh, we all know sex yeah, sells. He, we all know how well he turned out. Where is he? Oh my god. So, Project. I'm gonna just well, he's, he's music, richer than any of us. Voice. That's where he is. <laughs> he could never make it. He could never yeah. make another movie again for the rest of his life, and he'd be set. I think he's doing just fine. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what, what you need is since you have all these fucking like sounds of people like when they give you bits to play, you need like original Godfrey clips so oh people can God. like give you bits. 
to hear Godfrey say crazy shit. That would be fun, except there's a limited Can amount you of... Can you on the multimedia <laughs> chronicles? <laughs> there's, no, this um... is a really good idea, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, Sorry, no, that's, that's certainly a good idea. The only problem is that there's very limited space on that soundboard. They only give us 24 buttons. And oh, I'm at 23. Okay. That, uh, yeah, it's 24. Yeah, so. Well, I'm going to delete a bunch, so I think <laughs> we can probably make me some shit. There's probably some that can go. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, I'm going to send them. I need you to imitate this stupid video and this stupid video. <laughs> like, I need you. Okay. Zandig did Jesus, and I need you to do it in the Gilbert Godfrey voice. Do it. All right, go. <laughs> all right. That's going to be it. It's going to be all that shit over and over again, you know. I'll send you the clip. Jesus. Okay. It's Jesus! Just, no, that's the way he says it. I will. And they're too expensive. Well, I, I I came up with that pricing scheme after a lot of thought, JL. It's not just like I randomly made them expensive to be an asshole. <laughs> I mean, the, the ones that are more expensive are more expensive for a reason. is because they are the louder, more obnoxious, more intrusive ones. So if you want to be that intrusive, you got to pay for it. That's the idea. Basically, if you want to be that so, much of a dick, yeah, pay up the nose it's for gonna it. It's going to cost you. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a very good reason why some of those yeah. are the price. Especially they are. since it's you gotta, like you got to uh, pay to see the monkey dance. Yeah, it's 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 sort of a free like everyone point and laugh at the dork. Because I mean, if I had the fucking air horn at twenty five bits, everybody would be blasting the air horn like every two seconds. So. <laughs> There's a reason why the the some when of them are first, the price they are. When I first tested it, I had on my channel, I had a few of them just free you could use without paying any bits. Oh god! <laughs> and skin slip here. Air horn, air horn, air horn, air horn, air horn. And I just waited for the timer to run every time. I'm like, you can't do any free bits. So what's gonna happen to you? Do you have free bits? Yeah. Literally just to prove a point. He was like, oh, yeah. God, okay, point proven. You gotta have some amount of money. It doesn't matter yeah. what it is, it has to have some sort of tax to be annoyed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know? An annoyance Speaking tax. Of which Stout sent me the clip of him scaring the crap out of you with the Marv scream. <laughs> oh, dur what the hell was it uh, during the, the um, serial killer game last night? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I showed that to Alex, actually. He burst out laughing. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Uh... I could tell. I could just tell by he was a little bit, just not quite freaked out, but a little bit freaked out. Yeah. And yeah. He just doesn't know what's going to happen next or where to go or what to do. It's like in the and moment. He's not really paying attention to anything else. So, of course, that's the perfect moment to... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Like, like the, yep. the thing that always stood to me was one of your, uh, not not like a Saturday stream, but just one of your like work streams where mm -hmm. you invited me and Stout on to just fill in the dead air. Oh, and then I got completely <laughs> distracted talking to you guys and getting work done. No, but like the, the setup thing was, I, I said something off like, "Yo, I always thought monocles were weird. Like, why do you only get one lens for, for your badass?" I just like, "Do you want to squint?" Harder? <laughs> <laughs> and that became like something that kept coming back to me and making me laugh Do you want uncontrollably to, harder? to a point yeah. where I couldn't talk for like the last 20 minutes and I kept laughing <laughs> thinking about it. And like the whole thing is just you going, what? <laughs> and then Stout's like, you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> And like the, the two of you were just like constantly making you were making the situation worse because you kept adding more jokes. It was like Chris can't talk because he's laughing. Let's make fun of him so he laughs even harder. Oh yes, <laughs> exactly. Once you get into that cycle, a yeah, loop happens. Any, too. Any way we can perpetuate it, we will fly. Sometimes <laughs> the thought, of, thought of you laughing or the other person laughing makes you laugh, and then you laugh and makes them laugh. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. It's, it's like you. fucking yawning. Oh, I know. Yep. Well, and, like like when we do the echo drone, and one of us will start, one of us will crack and start laughing. So then there would be just the random bursting out laughing in the loop somewhere, and then that'll make someone else laugh, and then their laugh will be in the hey, loop. And then it's listen. like yeah. a giggle Thank loop you. being looped and turning into a yeah. bigger giggle. Well, loop. That fucking <laughs> was, was, it, was it Stout or did the whole like it, 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 where that Dutch is pronounced George, and then you just fucking belch. Greetings, <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> oh, he says he just wanted to use his last Taking twenty-five the clip bits. Of you okay. reacting and then well, recording you. to the reaction to the reaction and the reaction to the reaction to the reaction. Yes. 
Oh, I love doing that. I've got a few of those too, where where it was that I had done something and laughed, or watched the clip and laughed, and then one of you guys had clipped it. <clears throat> so then I watched the clip, and then you'd make a clip of me watching the clip and laughing at the clip, and then you'd clip that. And then I'd be <laughs> watching me watching the clip and laughing at the clip and then laughing at that. <laughs> so it's just like this like clip section. To give, to give, uh, to give something of a, of a pat on the back. Like I think the reason it always killed me during the uh, like that one stream with the whole the whole monocle thing. Because really, in essence, the monocle thing shouldn't even be that funny. No, but yeah. Stout has this amazing like. Dry delivery. Of yes, he does. <laughs> that is just piss your pants. Funny, just the line. Do you want to squint even harder? <laughs> that <Yes>. funny. <laughs> I agree. Why, why do you find it so funny? <laughs> like, I agree. My delivery is impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stout is that kind of person <sighs> where. He could be standing in a room with everyone pissing himself laughing, and he's the only one with a straight face going, I don't understand what's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that just makes everyone laugh what's more. What's so funny? Yeah. Uh, you're, you're like a Jewish comedian. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's some really lox awesome. and bagels. Totally not. Um, <laughs> so, what's everybody got for pickups this week? I got a couple things here. Oh, no, shit. You haven't done those yet? No. Nope. I have one. I should grab some. <laughs> okay. I have four. Four. All right. You got a couple. And Cass presumably has it's nothing. Not Steam even Slip there. Has, I don't know if that book was the one thing he got. I'm sure Angel's got at least a couple things. Eight. Eight. Wow. I think Ooh. Angel's got the most. <laughs> All right. I'm just waiting for Chris to come back with like 50. Gonna let, let me just clear off this entire shelf of things I got since the last time I was on. His camera comes back in, yeah, he's just dragging his shelf. Yeah. <laughs> I got all these. Let me show them to you and discuss them all in great detail. No, please. All of them. Do it in a video. Not now. Oh, God. Make him stop. <laughs> <laughs> Google, why did you take away the mute mic? <laughs> For this reason? There... this reason? Yeah, there is. There's nothing. We have no controls on Google anymore. Nope. They minimized it to just be barely functional. And now they're just getting rid of it. Like, I, I can't that even... That was the whole idea, I guarantee it. Just like, we're going to take away all the functionality of this thing and make it a bare-bones piece of crap. Yeah. And then... Only after we have hollowed it out and made it the soulless piece of shit, <laughs> move it from our system. But so, remember, their motto is "Don't be evil," because clearly there's nothing evil about gutting a popular program and going completely against the wishes and views of the Go users. Google Hangouts, the one thing that came out of Google Plus that everybody liked and uses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's Google. So, you know, Google. I know. I know. No. I know. They're not evil, well. No. Maybe that was true in the first five or so years of the company. Well, you know, when they Screw were... Screw it. We should make our own chat program. Blackjack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Forget the chat forget program. Forget program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forget the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, it's actually my my old housemate. Uh, he's a big Futurama fan, so Futurama. we we quote that one pretty much all the time. I gotta get like back said, to that. There's still like <laughs> a shit ton of episodes I haven't even watched. Uh, the other one he quotes all the time is if the if the safety dance ever comes up. You know that dance wasn't as safe as they said it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It was kind of like spastic and dangerous if you were standing too close to the person. <laughs> I like turtles. So how many pickups no. do you have, Skin Slip? I have three. Whoa. Was one of them the I... Venom book? Yes. Okay. Am I talking about my pickups now? No. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So two. <clears throat> yeah, two plus the one you know. Yes. Awesome. Stout man, what do you got? Oh, besides uh, chip. Other than microwave popcorn. <laughs> oh. Uh, today I went to the uh, 
Goodwill, and I found this. Oh, Eric! Yay! Movie. All right. One day now, I will I, see I, that. I didn't get it until now because I was waiting for it to come to Blu-ray, and then it never freaking did. It so. needs a Shout Factory or Arrow release. Bad Even Criterion. Bad Criterion. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! it right now, so. I agree. It'd be okay if it in Criterion. I can see Shout Factory doing it. Any of those companies would be fine with. Maybe a there show are select, a bunch of titles that are still on uh, Amazon for like five ninety nine or so. Got Team America World Police. Nice. Fuck uh, yeah. Still need to see that too. <laughs> yeah. Which cut is that? The only um, cuts available on Blu-ray. A bare bones cut. I think. Yeah, this is like a bare, there's nothing on here. It's a theatrical cut. Cause it's Paramount. <laughs> oh. They did the same thing to fucking Jackass. Matt Damon. <laughs> Good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, yeah. the, so I'm guessing cool. you were in the mood for some larfs. Larfs, yes. Larfs, <laughs> larfs anonymous. Of the shirt. Mutagen ooze, very nice. Nice. It's uh, the amazing healing power of larfter. <laughs> All right, garbage gamer, what'd you get? All righty. <laughs> so the first thing, number one. Uh huh. Let me get. Ready for this here? Oh, oh, you can limber up. Do, 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 PlayStation 4. There you go. Resident Evil 2. Oh, nice. physical edition. Look at I'm that. I'm shocked. Physical edition. I didn't you even know a new such hot a game? thing existed. I bought a new hotness. The new hotness. The new hotness. Very yeah, nice. I actually have not touched it yet. I have oh. not played it because I've been at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I do like the disc because uh, it has the typewriter. Nice. I don't know what the significance of that is, but okay. It's how you save in the original game. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. It's the typewriter. Right. See, I, I most recently played 7, which was the tape player. Yeah, yeah. similar concept. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the whole thing in Resident Evil 1, I believe, 1 through 3, mm -hmm. was... Um, typewriter. Perfect. <laughs> was uh, <laughs> typewriter and ink ribbons. Okay, gotcha. So you, like, find typewriters, and you had, like, a limited number of ink ribbons you could... So you have a limited uh, number of saves. Devious. Uh, so yes, Resident Evil Two. I will be, will be, I'll be touching it in the next day or so. <laughs> so the next one here. She said. Like I guess said you know you know how I said uh, later on I, I'll, I'll get you back for uh, not having the audio running in the beginning of the stream. Oh yes. Ah, oh, you fucking asshole! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Yes. Look at that. I finally got it in the mail. This is the limited run games release of the uh, Dragon's Lair trilogy in a laserdisc case. Yeah. That is beautiful. That was the, that was the one. Hey, I was Sean, does it hurt that you don't have that, Sean? Yeah. Yes, does it, it hurt does. you? That was the one where they gave like less than twenty four hours notice that it was even a thing that they were doing. Like I was so fucking pissed off. And <laughs> it may I, have been I a contractual thing apparently. I. Yeah. Just fell out. But. I have really begun to dislike limited run games for making their shit so fucking impossible to get. Well, like, yeah, they do. Game. They are called limited run. Well, I know. I know, but I mean, there's limited within reason. For fuck's sake, sure. at least give yeah. us a chance to I, get the I damn thing. I was able to score so. a copy of their limited run Celeste for PS4. Nice. Nice. Yeah, very pretty. pretty. Yeah. So Ooh, this is one. Of, it comes with a each. A game comes with a card. This one came with the Space Ace card. Oh, okay. Um, this right. is the limited print of this card, not of this release. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. My my print is like 183. I think is it says it on the back. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah. So here's the the box. Like I said, the front is the original Dragon's Lair, except it says trilogy. Uh, nice. This is what's interesting. This is like, it's like hand painted. Yes. It it is the actual original like painting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've wow, seen that. Back. I've seen that artwork before. And here it shows the the three games: Dragons Lair, Dragons Lair. That's how I probably display it. And Space Ace with the First. three. Yeah, cause it looks nice like that. And that's how you got yeah. the whole figure. Like both. I mean, no, no wrong way, obviously. No. So obviously, the whole box does not come fully out. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, I thought no. it would. Um, no, but oh, yeah. oh Whoa. man, look at that. The box. Yeah, is that... the, this is the box that contains all the special content in it. Oh, it's just a cardboard box. It looks like a big laser disc. That's awesome. That's yeah, cool. But, yeah. Yeah, front and back. Nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it looks like a laser disc. Unnecessary there. details, the back side. You know? Yeah. So yeah. there's oh yeah, there's Dirk's head. And nice. Double, is that a pin? Yeah, it's a double pin. It's a an double... actual pin with a yep. with a clasp back and everything. Yeah, let me get it out here. 
Because some people use buttons as pins, and I hate that like that they're not the same yeah. thing. No, yeah, that's an actual pin. fucking pin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so oh, I see. Pin. When you had the little snap thingy with the thing, <laughs> that's a fucking button. Damn it. It's not a pin. Um. So yeah. So there's the physical release. This is the only way to get a physical release of this. Mm -hmm. um, for now. now. For now, there yeah. might be another release with just that uh, down the line. Limited Run does I, do reprints. Yes. Yeah, often. they do, and yeah, they, do, they do they do like wide releases of certain things too. Like uh, I remember when Night yep. Trap came out, the physical yep. release was limited, but the digital release is not. So uh, I think it was Major Matoko gifted me the digital release of Night Trap, so I could at least play it, which is good. Nice. Right. Yeah. So, so one of the first things I this is the night uh, trap, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's this cool. Is, this is a paper craft of the original arcade cabinet. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I like that. That's uh, not something I'm a, ever going to put together or do. I just photo copy it. that and then make the uh, make the copy of the. Uh, yeah, I'd probably do something copy. like that before yeah. I it or something. I would never touch the original. No. I would always, I would make a copy of it in some way. Yeah. Um, we have some art cards here. Some really high quality, really nice art cards. Oh, nice. Those are like lithographs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they are lithographs. Yeah. Um, there's that one. Here's this one for time warp. Nice. And then Is here's... that a matte finish or, sh or gloss? Uh, matte can't finish. Tell, can't matte. tell by your camera. So. Matte. Okay. Oh. Okay. Nice. They're all matte finish. Oh, yeah, you can you can tell a little bit there. A little bit. Yeah. Now now you're doing that. I can see. Yeah. It's yeah. matte. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's shiny, but it's not like glossy. That's right. Nice. So, so there's those. Is I'm it not... like actual white paper or eggshell paper? Like <laughs> oh, it's eggshell. <laughs> <shell, like, laughs> Okay. Major, Major Matoka says, Night Trap Marathon until Z completes it. Wishing for that. Well, Hey, that would be a cool Friday Marathon that, episode, that, Night that Trap. That is a possibility, because uh, yeah. without question, it would take me several runs, because um, I played, oh, yeah. it, played it a couple times, and that is beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. <sighs> I'm, I might just buy a Dragon Slayer poster for one day, just to have the um, I mean, yeah. if, very easy to find, if, like, if this doesn't, yeah. like, if you're just a Dragon's Lair fan, but you don't really care to collect any of this stuff, the original, just the PS4 release, is still available on Limited Run Games. Oh yeah. This is yeah. Yeah. Also, the digital copy you can get. So. Oh yeah. Like I said, I actually already own the like digital copy on it's the not, PS4. It's not yeah. impossible to get. I mean, I've got I've got all the games in some form somewhere, but it's just multiple I, times over. I, right did, now. I yeah. did my YouTube video of of showing my six different fucking ways that I could play this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the, yeah. the Steam version, the original. Well, what have uh, I got? Laser disc release. I have the ps4 release i have a dvd release i, I have, have no, i don't have it in any what have i got i've got the well i've got the amiga <coughs> version i've got the 3do version i've got the uh the the dvd release with the ps3 compatible sticker on the front and then i've got the steam one so i guess four yeah, see, right? I have the I have the other DVD release with the Xbox compatible. Yeah, on. it's the sa exact same disc. It's just it the, is literally the exact it's same. It's just the one. other, just... The, the different sticker. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah, have so I, I literally. I, I kind of mm. bummed about that. I, I have. Oh, and no I have the Blu-ray. I have the Blu-ray as well. That's the one I don't have, which I don't really. Oh wait a minute! I don't have the DVD. I have the Blu-ray. I was getting. Yeah, no, that was it. Yeah, Blu rays had a print. Yeah, right? a no, you know, the DVD yeah. I do have is Time Traveler, the the live action. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've never even heard of that. That's a rare one. That one had a really weird looking arcade cabinet. Can, I played you, it in the can arcade. Can you play that on stream sometime, please? Sure. Um, yeah. I yeah. Can yeah. Do I've, that. Never, I've never fucking seen that. Picture before. it's kind of like Dragons there, but it's live action. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, like, I've always wanted kind of a port of those games. You know those light games in the arcade where they were like live yeah. action people? Oh, like, like Mad Dog like, McCree and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of like that, but like the other ones, like the with the the guys in suits and like the oh, like like, like, like like lethal, oh, like lethal enforcers, that sort of thing. Kind of like yeah, but there's this oh, okay. That, you know, what I mean? you know what I'm talking about. There's that other company that wasn't the famous one. You'd always go in and nobody plays the fucking game, right? Yeah. It's not lethal enforcers. It's not Mad Dog McCree. It's that other game that like the other companies knock off. Right. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but like I, I always well, wanted like those. Kind of games. Well, the All company of that did Mad Dog McCree did a bunch of those types of games. Like they did, oh. uh, like they did. Who shot Johnny Rock was the same people. Uh, space. Well, it made one of those. Yeah. Space Pirates was the same ones. I would like a port of all those, please. They're all right. out. They, they've got like versions what? of them for consoles and stuff. Oh, but do, do they have it on Steam? Do they have it on? Uh, I don't. What think console they do they have it for? 
I'm pretty the, sure for PlayStation, like for physical? PS3. Physical? No, physical? I don't know. They, they've had a few releases over the years, though. I know they have been available. Like, I'm pretty sure they did have some DVD releases Wait, and stuff. Skins, the, you have a Nintendo Wii, don't you? Uh, Yeah, I've got a Wii. Uh, yeah, you can get the Magdal McCree Gunslinger pack. Oh, perfect. That has Actually, Mad that... Dog McCree, yeah. Mad Dog, the second one, and then uh, uh, something Showdown. Um, that would work well with the uh, the Wii mode. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's also the uh, uh, there's there's two. <clears throat> oh, there it is. You can, yeah, you can also bad. get thirty bucks. There you go. Right now. Yeah, you can also get. Um, How many games are in it? There should be three. There's Mad Dog McCree 1 and 2. Yeah, then there's something. The Last Bounty Hunter. Oh, here it is. Last Bounty Hunter. That's the other one. Mad Dog McCree 2, Lost Gold, and Last Bounty Hunter. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so the other other two by the same company was Who Shot Johnny Rock and Space Pirates. Yeah, there's like my list of light gun games you need to own if you have a Nintendo Wii. Yeah. That's the Mad Dog McCree Gunslinger Pack. There's the uh, Ellie Machine Guns. Um. And yeah, uh, we've Gunblade New York. Oh, yeah, uh, that. sorry, that's right. Uh, double pack. Mm-hmm. There's the uh, House of the Dead two and three returns pack. Ghost Squad, don't forget about Ghost Squad. I was just gonna mention Ghost Squad, <laughs> and uh, and obviously wasn't released in the arcade, but still a great, you know, game in the House of the Dead series. Overkill. Ah, okay. Man, that that assault that uh, that special assault force and <laughs> LA machine guns. Uh, double packs like fifty plus dollars right now. Yeah, it's like one of the most <laughs> popular next to House of the Dead Two and Three Returns. It's one of the most popular like light gun shooters on that platform. Yeah, but House of the Dead Two and Three Returns is like twenty bucks. So oh, I know. It's like I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, uh, I want Gunblade or uh, LA Machine Gunblade Gun. New York and LA Machine Guns. Yeah. So yeah. is that was that it? I'm assuming that was it because that was. Huge. Yeah, that was okay. it. All right. Aficionados Chris of the disapproving face waiting for his turn. What'd you get? <laughs> the disapproving face was because I was looking on eBay for that Dragon's Lair box set and there's no listings. No. <laughs> face, yeah, you're going to at least wait a couple months, I think. And yeah. then it'll be available for 20 times what it's actually worth. There'll, yeah. So, there'll be a guy. I, I, I make I, enough with the living tombstone that I this, can I could buy it. <laughs> oh, well, fuck you too. This, this, by the way, for being Chris, rich. Yeah. <laughs> this set alone costs you about $86. Yes, I, I saw the original listing for like seventy four ninety nine, so yeah, I assume yeah. with shipping and handling and tax, probably about yeah. eighty something. Yeah. Yeah, a little over almost ninety bucks. Which means on eBay it'll be about oh three hundred, four hundred. <laughs> yeah. It'll be yeah. ridiculous. At yeah. least yeah. Thing, thing yeah. is at the current moment this is the own the only way the to thing get is, a physical release of this. Yeah. In this lineup, because the uh, thing is I obviously like every time I'm on here, it's months, weeks since the last time. So is this so, going to be everything you've acquired since the last time you were here? That I can remember, and it might be duplicates. <laughs> oh I just could not oh my God. be bothered. But there is something oh, in here that is really expensive, and I can't wait to share. Okay. So first, uh, Venom. Back. Yay. Cool. Nice. I, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> it's pretty I much love it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, well, Bad. there's a shitload of bonus features, which I was actually surprised that you know, bonus people are still doing bonus features. Bonus, I, I, bonus I people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're apparently really good. I, I haven't put this in yet, but right. but I saw the movie in theaters and I really liked it. Cool. And another film I saw in theaters last year and also picked up Halloween. Mm, that one I really need to get. That's oh like, yeah, you do. It's like high on my list. My girlfriend knows it. I'll probably see this. <clears throat> I saw someone talking shit about that movie the other day, and I was just like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> no, being contrary and you see, I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite <laughs> films. I don't much care for Halloween, but I really liked Halloween. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> I get it. I actually understood <laughs> everything you just said. <laughs> Real fans like all the Halloween. Real fans knew Real, what I was Okay, saying. no true Scotsman. There we go. Now this <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, this one now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to single out Stoud Man for this one because this is all his fault. It's all your fault, uh, Stoud. All You're your fault, Stoud. Yourself. So I used to have the, uh, what, the fifth? Whatever, like, re-release of Terminator 2 on Blu-ray where they finally had, like, a fairly decent transfer the of the film. The I think 2015 they took it from, like, one. Yeah, yeah, the 2015 one. So when I, I got bought it. it, and then the 4K was announced. So I thought, 
Fuck yeah, even no. better resolution, right? Well, no. I sold the Blu-ray. Oh, and it no. for me. Long after the fact, he said, "Oh yeah, the 4K is garbage. It's the same washy blah blah." I went, See, this is why you need to hang fucker. out with us more because you would have known that well in advance. You otherwise, know, you would think <laughs> with a format like 4K and when T2 seemed to finally get a good <laughs> Blu-ray, yeah. that they would be like, you know what? We should actually properly... Nope, they don't give a shit. We should actually but, put some effort in this time now. But they, uh, they've they reissued a lot of Blu-rays with these really cool slipcovers. So for five bucks, I reacquired it. Terminator 2 with the VHS oh. slipcover. Oh, that's now, cool. here's oh, the yeah, question, I love though. This. Is that still the 2015 transfer? Yes. Sometimes they repackage. It is. Oh, there it is. Good. Good. In fact, that is why I bought it, because I saw Excellent. it at Walmart. I went, well, which version is it? So I yeah. pulled it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm buying this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. Okay. Yeah. It's not the Skynet. So it's not <laughs> anything else. It's the 2015 Blu-ray. So Same one. They just made a new slip cover for it. That's good. I don't, I, I don't have that cover, but I have the previous cover, which is a... Mm -hmm. Skynet's, a Skynet's okay for the extras, but uh, sure, yeah. the transfer no, no, I'm not is talking about Skynet. I'm talking about the but one between those two. The thing is, I still have the old metal slip cover DVD two. with a shitload it's of extras. Same so. transfers Chris had, just a different yeah, cover. Yeah, I, it's all I, 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 I oh, still yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's... to my... I just have a different cover, that's all. Uh, yeah, but... Lenticular release. Mm -hmm. This one, I actually bought uh, both versions. Which one is this? This, this is the 4K one, I think. Uh, Stranger Things <laughs> Season 2. Funny we mentioned Dragon's Lair, because that's actually featured in this season. I need, I need to get... Still. That. So it's made to look like an old rental case, just like how the first season's made to look like. You can actually kind of see them if you look <laughs> right there. Very nice. That's my little, my little I, I have, I have, yeah. I have um, the VHS box. So. I, I I now have a habit of buying both versions. So I buy the Blu-ray and the 4K because they have different artwork and they, they just look cool. Like yeah. It's like having a little VHS collection. For sure. And yeah. open it up a bit. Look at that. See, oh, I need that. I have season one tape. VHS, but I need season two VHS. <laughs> I had was was kind of funny, Chris. I, you probably weren't here when I told this. Very nice. Probably. <laughs> when I when I picked up the season one set of those. Stranger Things at half price books, the guy rang it out and then just handed it to me without giving me any of the discs, and actually thought it was a VHS. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I had wow. to tell him, no, this is not a VHS. I need the Blu-rays that this comes in. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, next it's too small to be a real VHS. Like, how clueless are people, seriously, that they're, they're in a fucking video store and they don't know this trend? Like, what the hell? No, they were in half-price books that yeah. only sell DVDs, Blu-rays, and, and uh, books. Well, exactly. They, they should know. You know? No, yeah. you, you can't. There are no VHS tapes in my half-price books. Yeah. No, but... But I'm saying, like, it, he's probably a book nerd, so he probably doesn't even know. He's yeah. Just, no. He's the guy who does the books mostly. He's yeah. just doing the cash <laughs> register to fill in or whatever, right? Yeah. It's like one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. What else you get? Well, got this import. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie. Ah. It's only the UK got it on Blu-ray. And not only did they get it on Blu-ray, this is a 4K restoration. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Such an odd thing to give a 4K restoration to. Well. Yeah, that's a little weird. I don't know. It is, but, hey... I, I, I mean, it. I'm not going to deny a 4K restoration. No, but, of course not, but it's like this? You know, I'm things, about it, yeah. you shell out the cash for this hey, thing? If you have the extra effort, go on. Go for it, yep. you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Save that one for last, because that's a lot to talk about. Uh, oh. Finally picked up Deadpool 2. Oh, wow. It took you this long? <laughs> What's that? It took you this long? I, I got it at a, a used bookstore, essentially, oh, okay. for... A, a, for basically free, because I just did some trade-ins and used the trade-in cash nice. to get it. Nice. I, uh, I thoughtfully enjoyed Deadpool too. Of course, I laughed well, and laughed all? and laughed. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. There's I had a lot of. It. <laughs> I need to see Once Upon a Deadpool. Yes, I went to the theaters and saw that. I, need, I got that one. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Everyone should get this. I know it's the one we've been waiting for. I now own three copies of this movie on Blu-ray. Excellent. I don't own any. I just have and the original Blu-ray release. I, I did have that, but I sold it because it's awful. It's an awful Blu-ray that no one should own. Get this one. Yeah, because it's missing the all old Blu-ray is not in 5 to 1. Yeah. It's only in stereo. So I fuck that release. Isn't the original uh, soundtrack stereo, though? Yeah. No. No, the sure? original the original is 5 to 1. Are you sure? Are you positive? 100%. This is the movie, not the show. <laughs> I know. Are the you, show are is you, in are stereo. You, are you sure? Yes. Because some older <laughs> movies were actually only sure, done in stereo. Sure? 
Are you Next. sure? <laughs> Lots of anime movies were only done in stereo, too. Oh, that's out now? Fuck. Yeah, I yeah know, it just I came out. I didn't know it was out now. Right. Very recently came out. I yeah, need to like get that. And Those yes, it includes the extended cut and theatrical cut. So both I know. cuts are in here. They, they actually got in touch with the director to find the extended cut. Yeah, this cuts. was delayed by right, a, yeah. a year because they were I trying know. to find the print. But that was great. They got it. They found it. They got it. And it's there it is. And it's no, there. That's, no, well, that's no, why I bought it. It's like, I want to buy it because I have a feeling this will go out of print. Yeah. It, like, very quickly. So I had to grab it. Yeah. Uh, and, Plague Dogs is not a collection edition, so it has no slip cover. Oh. That is true. Yeah. Really? It has no slip cover. Oh. Yep. If it did, if it did, it would have one because I got this day of release. So no slip. Mm-hmm. So it's the so same, don't the same rules as the Scream Factory ones, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, same moving on, company. we got Criterion. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know. I mean, it's just like the same. Oh, oh I hate that. I need that, that so nice. bad. Nice. There's sex right there. I still yeah. want that. Definitely want that one. Oh, beautiful, wish. beautiful release. Gorgeous, man. Wish. That's amazing. Love... That they have as you wish written on the back. That's I love yeah. that Criterion nice has a look, there. right? But they mm-hmm. also go out of the way to make special packaging for releases. Yeah. Like, Video Drum looks like a fucking beta cassette. Yeah, like, I have that, actually. You know? yeah. Like, yeah. it's like... It's, I love those little touches that yeah. make a Criterion release special, you know? Absolutely. That was... <laughs> it's a film library by film aficionados. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. they... And lovers of the that was not a reference to you, Chris. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. The term no, existed be- before you did. <laughs> I know it did. Why do you think I stole it? He's a 90s kid. Give him a break. He doesn't know this. I know. I do know this. Only I 90s kids will remember the term aficionado. In high school, that's where the name came from. I know, I know. I'm the sending prick. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Popeye, volume oh. four. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Cool. Oh, nice. It says volume I one. Bought- Honestly, that's that confusion. This is the 1940s volume one. This is technically volume four of the run of of releases. I have the first two volumes. I'm missing volume three because volume three is out of print and goes for like 150. dollars But you make that living tombstone money. Wow, that's I'm cool. not spending 130 dollars on something that's probably getting. But I reused. thought you had uh, like unlimited money, Chris. But I am also. <laughs> Reasonable in what I spend it. It's on. like, oh, that drags or so probably only be three or four hundred bucks once it hits know, eBay. Right? I'll wait for that. But one hundred fifty bucks for the Popeye? Point I'm to make Fuck that is noise! That there is a rumor <laughs> that if this sold, if this sells well enough, they're going to reissue those old sets on Blu-ray. Ah, so that's why I'm not spending the one thirty because I want to wait till it's reissued on I Blu-ray, see. most on likely. Blu-ray because vintage cartoons in high definition yeah. is always gorgeous. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And they did a fantastic job with this one. I got the yeah, I want to get those and the Betty Boop uh sets. Yeah, I gotta get those. I'll get fifty two watch, you heard it, but he'll spend three hundred dragon letter. Oh my yeah. god guys. Three to four hundred. Uh, I know, right? Yeah, because I've got the the Tom and Jerry <laughs> I'll just, I'll and the platinum here uh, you know? Looney, platinum, the Looney Tunes platinum collections and they all look we'll, great. We'll we'll get to the thing I spent the most amount of money on. Uh, <laughs> We gotta bust okay. your balls a little bit. We don't see you enough, dude. What's that? We don't see you enough. We gotta bust your balls, you know. That's right. Yeah, I know. We have a lot of catching up to do. Of ball so busting. DreamWorks for the first time on Blu-ray. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, God, I, I hate those slip covers. Oh, oh okay, I fucking right. hate these covers. But I'm just glad these are. I'm just happy that these are finally on Blu-ray. Those, yeah. those uh, covers are okay. They're they, okay. Here's here's they're the weird awful. thing about them. They're I realized this. Dead bad. I realized this when I got them. They're trying to emulate. <clears throat> the Disney slip yep. covers because yeah. you see how like as you see on my shelf the my little faces. Disney thing they they have well like because the, yeah they have the faces well yeah. not only did they do that uh, let me actually <coughs> put them in a specific order uh, if you put them in order of release mm-hmm. not only do they make up faces there's actually I don't know if it picks up but the the color changes like this green is darker than this one uh-huh. so it goes from a dark green to a light green so apparently okay. all these reissues are meant to like make a like a like a color pattern that goes from one color mural. to the next. Yeah, yeah, basically make a color Spine mural. murals. I love spine murals, by the way. But, but that other than that, by the B movie and that's Yeah, just... that's what I say. It's like, okay, but this is Dreamworks. They don't really have the same level and of robots quality. don't get it by that. It's very... That is not Dreamworks. That's Blue Sky. It's very hit Oh god, I'm so sorry. I apologize. You should be. You should be. It's these these are these are some of their these are some of their best films. Prince of Egypt is obviously one of their most fantastic films. Meh. Chicken Run. You're meh. I like um, Chicken Run. <laughs> I, I want Chicken Run. This is just a personal favorite. This is nostalgic for me. The Armored Delay is the best part. 
Thomas. You're you are the king of mech. I have the box set <laughs> of the four Shrek movies. That's all I need from DreamWorks. Wow, why would you? You just point me movie? so. Why do you need four? You only need two. You only the need three at most. Because it was most, a box you want a set of all four of them, and it was cheap. I think there's more I don't, than four now. I, don't, I think they're, they're like six or seven. No, there's, there's only four I don't movies. need to take that from the man who liked the Seth Rogen Green Hornet. They've Moving done, on. They've done a lot of shorts oh. and <laughs> specials. I, this, I thought, classic okay, I thought, animation right here. Yeah, anyway. About the Seth Rogen Green Hornet. <laughs> Which I did not pick up, Sean. I, I think we want to move this along. I thought here. it was okay. You bust my balls, I'll bust yours. <laughs> but I bought the Steel Book primarily because the Steel Book was beautiful, whether you liked the movie or not. That was a decision I made solely based Shelf on the quality movie. of the packaging. So, so you bought a shitty movie for a tin box? And I Shelf thought the candy. movie was okay. Shelf candy, I get yes, it. Yes, exactly. Understand it. Just like I bought <laughs> Green Arrow. Or not Green Arrow, Green Lantern, several times over just to get the piece I mean, of cardboard I, again. I, the I really cover. shouldn't be yeah. talking, to be honest with you. I got the cardboard. Oh, he was just pulling off his copy of Green Hornet. I paid me. for the slipcover. <laughs> I don't have Green Hornet. Fuck you. I have good movies, uh -huh. for the most part. Uh huh. <laughs> for the most part. You just held up Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie, okay? Like, for the most part. The 4K restored Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie, no less. Oh, he's one of those guys with guilty first of pleasure. All, oh, first of all. Boo this man. It's in my boo this man. man. Guilty pleasure. It's a comfort Chat, measure. Boo this guilty man. pleasure. Now, you must have you a lot of guilt. Do any of you even, uh, any of you even know this film? Like, I, I, never, I know it. I've never seen uh, it. You know of it. Yes. So, yeah, that's that's understandable. Prince Prince Ahmed mm -hmm. is the oldest surviving feature length animated film. Nice. So, like, I, I think you guys all know about like films that are lost or, or have been yes. re, uh, haven't mm -hmm. been discovered. So, there are apparently reports of feature length animated films that predate this film, mm -hmm. but they're lost. So, as far as like the history goes of surviving prints, this is the o oldest surviving feature like animated film, which nice. technically makes it the first feature like animated film, so, and predates, it was directed by a woman. Predates Snow White. Yeah, pre it, it predates Snow White. Yeah, a mm. lot of people say Snow White. Snow White was not first. I always thought was. it was like I. This is a news lot to of me. people do. Yeah, this but this news predates Snow White by I think. Let's, yeah, because Snow White was 39? 38, 38, I think. Oh, 38. Yeah, this was nineteen twenty six. Oh wow. So this predates. Yeah, so this like predates it by years. many years. Oh shit. Yes, because we also totally need. On one of the oldest known animated films of all time, we totally need the Rotten Tomatoes review that's on the front cover. Oh, well, fuck. okay, yeah. I would I would agree, except <laughs> it's a hundred percent, which is pretty hard to get. Don't so, care, yeah. but still, but I know, Rotten I know. Tomatoes. Fucking Rotten but Tomatoes. But I think yeah. I think it's also because since I said you guys know this, no, well. That will reassure some people are, to buy it. I are guess. you going to review no, that? By all, you, all you had to uh, reassure probably me probably eventually. Was, I would can like you to. please say next time make that a sticker instead of printing it on my goddamn packaging because I don't yeah. want that shit on my packaging. I, I agree. I, I agree. Dude, I was actually the that. thing I was disappointed Sorry, with Sean. because most packaging, like pictures of it, looked like it had a slip cover. No, it doesn't, no, and okay. it's not because I bought it late. I even went back to like people who got them when they came out. Yeah, no slip, no slip cover. Yeah, so. sometimes the artwork is misleading that way. In the, it is, the it things. is. Like, they always feel like the box thing. But like, I, I, cool? I, yeah. I was just going to say, the only thing that reassured or sold me on it was earliest surviving feature-length animated feature. So, mm -hmm. yes, very interested in seeing that. It is a mouthful, especially since and you woman can technically, I mean, I you can technically just director. say... Yeah, that's very first, rare for back then. I just don't want to film in my collection. First animated feature-length film, technically. Exactly. Because that's the problem, is again, it's the only one that has seemed to have survived. Survive. All the other ones. Surviving. Surviving. And no yeah. one can argue with you. Uh, Amazing. Won't you be my neighbor? That is on Blu ray. Okay. Yes, the it look, is. The look yes, of Best Buy only has it on DVD. And I was like, does, did this not get a Blu ray no, release? No, no, it's, but, it's on Blu ray. Okay, good. I'm glad I have them on here. I got this off Amazon. I so will probably do the same. Th this was my f absolute favorite <laughs> film of last year. I need to see that. Along with Christopher Robin, which is uh, yeah. on the shelf. So those nice. are two. Oh, that was my pickup like last week. Actually. I very oh, much fantastic. grew up watching Mr. Yeah. Rogers. This is one of the best documentaries yeah. I've ever seen. Everyone should see it. Disney Movie Club Jackson. used my money and bought it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Community from Mill Creek. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't know they had a Blu-ray set of that out. How are you? How are you? <laughs> it seems like busy. everything. I'm, 
I, no, no, no. Like, it seems like everything appears like, oh, that's on Blu-ray? Oh, that came out? Fuck, yeah. Well, yeah, I did not. Uh, I've been a little out of the loop for the past couple months. Give me a break. Fair enough. But, no, uh, like, uh, it's a great release. They have uh, great bonus features. Picture quality looks pretty nice. Milk and I'm just happy to have all features. What's that? Milk Creek, we're putting bonus features. I gotta applaud that. Yes. <laughs> right. well, do, they, do they not do that on Amazon? Not, not usually. No. no. Most of them just have bare bones. In but the past, yeah. they didn't, but like, no. they have started putting more. All the, uh, yeah. all, the, all the Blu-ray TV show sets I have for them are all bare bones. It's just the episodes. Right. So that's why I applaud when they add special features. I'm like, thank yeah. you. Yeah, they, you deserve an extra bonus of praise because they so. haven't been Actually, doing that. I, hold on. I think they're uh, that 70s show set, which is their first TV show Blu-ray set, had special features, if I remember correctly. Oh, maybe. There's actually been two releases of it as well. I think one has special features, one doesn't. So mm-hmm. take note of which one you're getting if you buy that. Fair Chris enough. is like, shit. <laughs> he looked over his shelf. Right? I'll look over. He's like, like, fuck, now i got to look. He's like, wait. <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I, I, don't, the... I don't buy the Blu-rays yeah. for the bonus features. I buy them because I like the show or the movie. Of course. So in other words, if, you if got it's, the bare bones. If it's one, a that's show okay, that I, I really, because obviously you see some of the complete <laughs> sets up there, if there's ones that I like yeah. really, really like enough to shell out, for mm-hmm. all the stuff in the world, they better have bonus features. Yes. The thing is, I don't even remember if we even talked about this the last time I was here, but yeah, the, still to this day, the most expensive thing I have purchased is this reissue. Oh, what is that? <laughs> that is Cowboy Bebop. Well, I know Bebop. it's Cowboy Bebop, but what edition is that? <laughs> this is the only if you bought it when the window was open edition. Oh, okay. So what it is, Funimation did a 20th anniversary reissue Mm -hmm. uh and the only difference between this and the three other versions of the same release that i have is Uh that these are in metal packs nice, and that the movie was included which i also bought separately anyway yeah because i'm a whore yeah so (laughs) yes you are but there was one major thing so what they did this is what made it ridiculous they they had a poll and by poll i don't mean like you voted you voted with your wallet Okay. So you had to pre-order a spot mm-hmm. for one of three versions, and they ranged from different prices depending on like, oh, this version's going to have oh, uh, figurines, yeah. and this version's going to have metal pack uh, style packaging, or this one's just okay. going to be standard. This so, is what I've been talking about for years. By the yeah. way, didn't you? So Figure. the point is that uh, I pre-ordered the one that was getting the most, because uh, the thing was that if it didn't get a certain amount of pre-orders, they weren't going to make them. Okay. Right. And only one set was like leading in the polls, so I went, well, I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna reserve myself for that one. That one was two hundred and fifty dollars for a reservation. Shit. And this wasn't like Amazon where it's like, oh well they'll charge you when it happens. No, they they <laughs> right took away. the charge they took the right money away. right away and then you had to wait until they made the fucking thing. But there was a big catch about all of these versions, something that was the only way you could get it. And even now there's no official release. It's right behind me. The only way you could get the soundtrack on vinyl. Oh, okay. Mm. Still, though, so, 200. That, that was the big bucks? selling point. What's when, that? I, when I did the podcast Media Fuck Maven sake. a couple years ago, I mentioned why don't movie companies do this P900, P500 system. Now, P500 was a board gaming company's like, thing where they had to get 500 pre orders before they could print a board game, right? So they right. had all these board games in the back catalog, and you prepaid, you gave them the fucking money, they set it aside, and when enough orders were coming in, they could print everyone, print a new run of board games for everybody. Everybody right. who pre-ordered got their copy, and then there would be actually more going into the market because the pre-order pays for a print, a complete print run, and it's even more than, you know you know what I mean? Like, there's a, it's a whole show. No, yeah, I, agree. I, I think so that, like, I was saying, why people... don't they do this? they like, here's a standard release. Everyone can pay $20 for standard release. You can pay $25 with a slipcover, $30 with a slipcover and a uh, poster, and you just... In each person, you just buy whatever they want because not everyone wants a poster, not everyone wants a slipcover, you know? Like, that's, and I think that's, that would yeah. be really beneficial for these companies with these limited editions, you know? Yeah. Well, because too many of the companies put all their eggs in one basket thinking, oh, yeah, this will, like, this collector's edition will yeah. sell. Well, clearly, fun, like, people kept mocking Funimation for how dare they sell a box set for $500. And I said, but they're only, they're only making the one that people buy. Mm-hmm. So if the one with the least, amount of votes with, with their dollars of course 
Not everyone has five hundred dollars to blow on a Cowboy Bebop box set just because oh, it yeah. comes with some statues. Yeah. Well, apparently you do because <laughs> it Even came with. I didn't it came with some records. I went with two fifty, <laughs> which I That's thought a was a bit more. It's a lot, but it's more reasonable than five hundred. And there's yeah. much cheaper. I remember this going up. There was much cheaper options. There was even an option that was like sixty-five dollars or something with just a set and just a Blu-ray and with like special art. I'm like, that's cool. If I had the money, that would be the one I'd get because yeah. I'm a budget guy, uh, right? Maybe. I can tell you, most people, and I know this because I, I scoured the Reddit pages for Cowboy Bebop. Most people did the pre-order not for the box set. They just wanted the vinyl. Yeah. So, wow. But the well, problem yeah. is people are like, well, why didn't they just sell the vinyl separately? They legally couldn't. Right. Because the agreement they made with the rights holder to the soundtrack only agreed to sub-license it to them as a bonus for the Blu-ray, not as its oh. own individual item. Because obviously that company probably wants to release their own. Yeah. And wants yeah. all the money. <laughs> so uh, they're not going to just give it to the, anybody. The, in the uh, last couple of years, with the slew of both video game and anime shows and movies getting vinyl soundtrack releases, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure Bebop is you know on the horizon. Yeah, it should I'm be. Sure. It, it is sure the it one be. that... Uh, yeah, I mean, clearly by the sales that, you know, I mean, shit, we already got Trigun. Oh, what, what was that, Sean? I'm trying to say something before it's no longer relevant. Uh, regarding expensive collector's editions, uh, Major Motoko was just saying Sentai Filmworks sells Legend of the Galactic Heroes, the complete set, for $700. <laughs> Sentai Filmworks yeah. can just, they can eat a chode. I have precisely <laughs> one Blu ray from them, and that was their release of Ninja Scroll because it was only like 30 bucks. You know who's Only actually worse than them? You know For anime, them that's is, like uh, normal. Aniplex is worse that's than anime. them. anime. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what? Well, it doesn't mean it's not bullshit, though. Yeah. It's bullshit. I know, but it's... I mean, anime collectors it's expensive and whatever. Look, anyway. anime collectors paying thirty dollars to release means they're dopes, all right? You guys are fucking dopes. We pay fifteen dollars. What the fuck are you release. talking about? How many like fucking Scream Factory and Shout Factory and Arrow Video things do you pay thirty or forty bucks for? Shut the fuck up. I don't know. Most of my shut pay 20. the fuck up. No, you're no paying thirty bucks for an anime. <laughs> how, how much? Whatever. Do you Doctor Who DVD. Yeah, exactly. Oh, See, like yeah. DVD, like like fucking Doctor Who is like thirty bucks a story. So yeah, yeah, that's just, insane. I wouldn't pay that either. Oh hey, my you're god! Spending about fifty dollars an episode of Star Trek on VHS. No, I didn't pay for those either. <laughs> no, it <laughs> was <laughs> it was. I agree. Hold on, and it was it was. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> it was sixty dollars yeah. for two episodes. I'll have you for know, two. there was two <laughs> episodes. <laughs> on laser disc. Bargain. Thirty dollars an episode. That's Holy right. shit! I know it was incredible. <laughs> and, and if you wanted it on VHS, jokes, it was only twenty dollars an episode. The boy is like, I agree. Anime uh -huh. like home video collecting, <laughs> like th this, you can't you can't really see because the mic is covering it. But this little cute, this little thing right here. Yeah. This oh, is an anime show. It's all anime. Because. Yeah. I have that much. Well, also because there's so many that are like these obnoxiously like thick boxes. Yeah, and they were right. taking up so much goddamn space. So I was, oh, I'm yeah. just gonna, uh, you know, I might segregate them to one section. I'd like to get more anime. Look, I have you. I would love to too. Section. But then every uh, time it's the same thing. I go, hey, how come I don't have that? <clears throat> oh, oh, that's why I don't have yeah. that. Look, yeah. I gotta defend my honor real quick. The only time I ever spent more than twenty dollars for release were limited editions. Period. Yeah. Period. Okay. By the way. Everything else I got from Aero Sales. Cool. Like, way less. Well, I'm not a dope. I won't pay $30 for a standard release. That's silly. Yeah, That's but, silly. But anime is even more niche than the stuff I that know. you're buying, though. And that's why it's expensive. Is it, they don't, they it seems don't, like it's part of the mainstream. They don't sell yeah, as mainstream. much. The licenses yeah. are expensive. There's a lot of reasons why. But there, that, are, that license that are, there are some companies that charge a lot more than others but to be honest I know. like funimation and such is like super, oh they're, they're reasonably and discotech right. they are super oh, yeah. reasonable given like oh, the new no stuff that they carry yeah but i think like, the difference especially with Canadian, funimation so 30 bucks is i'm talking about 30 bucks us which would be 40 dollars for you by the way no no i'm but sorry 30 least, bucks canadian 30 canadians right. pretty fine yeah. it's fine they make right. enough money, money with because they have so many major uh properties under their belt they like, have speed racer like they have animation yeah yeah, Funimation. Like they, they oh, can yeah. exactly. they can sell 
They could sell something stupid like uh, Tentacle Squid Girl, whatever the fuck, <laughs> for, 30, for $30. Because, like, why do we care? We have Speed Racer, Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist, and Dragon Ball Z. And We've got plenty of money. Yeah. We yeah, don't, don't need to charge $90 for a set of a show that no one... That's the same premise the Criterion Collection works on, by the way. That's uh, why they yeah. get big name titles so that stuff feels the fact that they buy uh they sell the apu trilogy which sells a thousand units only or something yeah. you know like right yeah it's unfortunate because more of you motherfuckers need to own that i anyway. want the apu trilogy i just don't have the hundred bucks to drop on it i, I did just pre-order i would I love to have yeah. that solely based on the amount of work that went into restoring it which i think is amazing and i i love to support grassroots efforts like that but Thank um you. I just don't have the money for it. So, it's funny that, like this whole this whole debate started because I said, "Here's one of the most expensive things I've ever bought." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about the the how to reasonably price your anime on Blu-ray. That's right. No, your media, what? not just anime, so, any media. So, Chris, no, specifically the physical stuff. So, before we're here all night debating about the merits of spending thirty dollars on an anime movie. Uh, do you have anything else, or is that the big final item? No, that was it. Okay. <laughs> Skin slip, what oh. did you get? <laughs> oh, okay. I got this really awesome comic oh, book. Oh, what a surprise. JL wants to know what's in here. Oh, okay. Uh, it's got Amazing Spider-Man 295 to 310, and the animal number 22 that season, which is, uh, or that year, which is the, uh, Evolutionary War issue. It's like part four, and like, I don't know why they just put part four in here. Why isn't Evolutionary War in its own volume? That anyway. It should be because that was like a cross. That was like a cross annual event, I think. Yeah, it? it was like yeah. twelve annuals, I think. It's like all yeah. the annuals that year. Yeah. There's also Web of Spider-Man 33, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number 133. This is post Alien suit when he's still wearing the black suit, but the regular suit. This is oh, right okay. after the Craven, the Hunted stuff. So it's like when the Venom is introduced yeah. as Venom. Yeah, gotcha. Then cool. next, what I also got was I got this awesome. Uh, G5 Logitech G502 Hero. Ooh. I got it for thirty-eight dollars shipped. Finally got a better mouse, eh? A steel. By the way, it's normally a seventy-dollar mouse. Nice. And how but much was it? Thirty-eight dollars shipped. So it's like basically yeah. half price. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. Bids, man. So I got a new mouse because I fucking <laughs> need the other mouse because the uh, old color Sarah, which was a workhorse, it worked for like three years solid and just clicking like a maniac. Yeah. What will happen is I'll be playing a game and the DPI will change, which is oh. sometimes not a problem, but sometimes I'm playing a DPS character and I'm trying to shoot somebody and suddenly I'm like, oh, world, what the fuck? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, you want low DPI because yeah. you want a very small increment. So. Yeah, exactly. But this new mouse has a sniper button. So I hold the button down and it goes down to 100 DPI and it's like, I got your fucking oh, head. Oh, nice. That's Pop. cool. Yeah. I like that cool idea. One. And then I got Th this thing. Can I, is that on camera? I can't. My... Oh, is that new? I didn't realize it was that new. What this, is that? This is a deluxe with no e, deluxe P11 keypad, and it's got a jog wheel. That's yeah. the this is the key thing for editing. Yeah. It's got a jog oh. wheel and all your most yeah. used functions for the for for editing. Yeah. Space to play, cut, copy, paste, etc. Uh, Z is mute. I, I think if I remember correctly. And one of these is uh, some, one of the settings, I can't remember. And S is, is Slice, I right? Watched, I watched Skin Slip using that the other day on his stream, and he was demonstrating it, and it's uh, pretty slick. It's a pretty slick little uh, device there. This I'm is a multifunction wheel, so you push the button, it changes. I have it permanently set to jog wheel, because I, I already have a volume for, dial For elsewhere. scrubbing, yeah. But it's for and you like, when you hit play and you you can scrub through the data, the video really quick and skip dead space, and it cuts down editing. Lots of dead space is gone from yeah. your editing. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. really cool. I'm thinking of getting a stream deck for myself, actually, for that purpose. That's cool. That's, stream deck's not going to be for editing. This is specifically a tool for editing. I need to get oh, a I stream see. deck. It also has nine fully programmable keys with mode select, which means you can have nine, 18, <coughs> what, 27? 27 different programmed keys if you want. Yeah. Uh, I do need to get a stream deck so I can switch, like, scenes and stuff without having to use my mouse while I'm in is the game. Is the stream deck for, I'm assuming, for live streaming, or...? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. can compatible with your Elgato specifically, too. Really? And yeah, it's my Elgato, custom images I have to look into buttons. that. And so what a lot of these guys' <laughs> soundboards are doing is actually is, it's just a sound clip embedded on their stream layout, mm -hmm. and they press a button on their on their stream deck, and it just plays the, it cl uh, plays the clip. Yeah. Basically, just makes, it reveals the, the hidden element 
the element plays and then it unhides the element so it's hidden again. And you can That's do stuff cool. like that. Yeah. You can switch between scenes, you can yeah. oh shit, someone's someone's uh spamming races bullshit. I can push this button and suddenly the follow button actions are gone. Muted. Yeah. You know, things like that. You just and and then you can make the buttons change per scene. It's it's pretty neat. That it's also eighty dollars. Cool. I'll, I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, that sounds eighty dollars awesome. in Canada. But the mouse and the and the deluxe keypad were both bought with money that I earned through Twitch. So I have to thank you, the viewers, since you probably are also watching me here. Thank you very much for all your donations. <laughs> uh, you're forgetting this equipment. Now we just got to get the capture card. I know I had yeah. raised money for the capture card, but then there was some issue and I had to return it because the capture card I got was bunk. Oh. I got to get an Elgato instead. So that Go with the Elgato, the man. Card. That's what I'm using. The, I'm using the HD60 Pro, and I have no complaints whatsoever. It's super slick, works like a charm. I have to get my computer and it clean it out and see if I can even put an internal card. Otherwise, I have to go with the USB one. Because I have I an ITX no internal if you can. Board. Like if you got a I have a micro it. ITX board, so I may not have the room. Oh, I remember yeah. the last card that Sean had, the last capture card, where oh, every card. time he wanted to use it, he had to turn everything off and turn it back on again. Oh, it, was, it was. Oh, it was, oh, the, it was the Hop Hog, yeah. Well, because the Hop Hog was technically uh, pulling it in through analog and converting it to digital. So right. Wait a minute, it's pronounced Hop Hog? Yes. Yeah. So, I thought it was Hoppage. Nope, Hop Hog. No. That's that's. I have I have heard people call it a hoppage. That that yeah. is the act Wait. of a bunny rabbit, and what it does, <laughs> it uh, engages in hoppage. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the only two ways you should properly say it is hopog or hawupag. 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 <laughs> anyway, so wow. so, that was everything. <laughs> so yeah, it it would only use the uh, 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 was a component like the red, green, blue. Video and then this and the, and the the wires that it came with were really flimsy and they started to fray like very soon after I started using it so the signal wasn't very sta sta stable and also I found like I I would go and I'd capture a bunch of gameplay and I go and look and because the wires were fucked up the color would be all fucked up and then thus the capture was unusable unusable so I have a bunch of unusable gameplay footage of different shit that I recorded over the years. You can't, can't change it with the in, in settings? Just the, no, the color levels? No, no, it no. wasn't. It was like it did not pull in certain, uh, like, one of the colors. Oh, like the colors it, missing entirely. It was missing the red or something, and it would just You all... upload some of that shit, just as, as a curiosity. Uh, I might. I don't even remember what it was now, and it's from... It may be on a dead hard drive now. Oh, that's a good point. But, yeah, uh, probably. Yeah, but um, I had a few die on me last year. It pissed me off. But anyway... Um, yeah, so so the one I'm using now is it's pure digital. It's the uh, the Elgato HD60 Pro. It's an internal uh, PCI Express card, and it's HDMI in, HDMI out, and that's it. That is all it is. It's an HDMI pass through. You need to have some kind of uh, splitter to strip out the HDCP from certain sources, like the PS3. Otherwise, it won't uh, capture it. Obviously, um, it's fine with the PS4. PS4 doesn't seem to give a shit about that. Um, although I pass it through the uh, the splitter anyway. I think it just has a handshake to like the special. They, they paid money to get. Oh, it could it's be compatible with Xbox and, and PS3 out of the box. PS4 out of the box. It could very Actually, well be no, that it's, it's just. Um, you no. have to if you're not running through a splitter that splits or that strips HDCP, you have to turn it off in the settings. Okay. Oh, and then that makes some games then, unplayable. Yeah. Yeah. No, all 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 well, the games are playable. You just can't run like YouTube or Netflix or no no. Yeah. There are some games that are unplayable if your HTCP is off. Actually. Uh, okay. They just won't let you play because oh. they don't want you streaming it. Like, you oh, just stream it by getting the stripper. That's bullshit in them. this day and age. Yeah. Like, come on. Uh, like, like it's like it you have to already. enable it. You're like, can I play this game? I saw someone on stream going, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. Hold on, guys. He turns the stream off. Yeah. Comes back a minute later. Fixed it. <laughs> He's like, I've got a splitter. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a splitter sitting That's down funny. here. That what the fuck it, so. is this? Same. Yeah. yeah um, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, or if you're outputting from PC, like PC, I don't think has any HDCP in it. It's just a straight nope. video right. output. So don't give a fuck. They don't care. But uh, yeah. So anyway, Elgato, it's the way to go. Uh, yeah. They're fairly cheap too. Like it's, I think I got mine for like. 70 bucks, something like that. Like, they're not that expensive for what they oh, are. Oh, I'm going for the big one. I'm going for the 180. I'm just going just to go right for the big dog and I don't want to worry about it. The what? What do you mean the 180? The one, the 180, the 180 HDS one, you know? 180. The, the, the flagship, not 4K model. I don't know what that the is. The one, 
Well, it's the same thing. So it's oh. the same company. It's just the it's the next one up from yours. Oh, okay. But not the high end 4K one, because I'm not you know I'm not made of fucking money. It's a couple hundred. Just bucks. Make sure your motherboard <laughs> can take it, because like, I remember you you were saying some of the issue might be the throughput. For me, that's not throughput's not gonna be a problem. No, I'm with case. your like with your graphics card. You you suspected that might. I've be got a 1070. I, I was just worried for nothing. Um, yeah, I've got it's a pretty good graphics card, but I I gotta um. I gotta make sure I have root physical space for it is the problem. Yeah. I have to have physical space. You may need to shell out for a better motherboard. Which wouldn't be a bad well, thing. I mean, you could get a decent one fairly cheap. I could just get a USB one uh, capture device for now, too, though. Or you could do that. Yeah. Whatever works Which for allows me to use it right away instead of waiting until I have a new computer. Yeah. My, my concern is, uh, do you have USB 3 at least? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's the yeah. reason I got this one was because it was all USB 3 plugs. Oh, every okay. last one of them. That's, and that's this tower, this ITX tower with <laughs> a USB 3 plug on it, I was like very that's, specific that about That should be things. fine, then you should be able to do 1080p 63. Because I have a million hard, external hard drives, or I did at the um, time. And so. Anything else, or was that it? That was everything. Oh, okay, cool. And last, but most definitely not least, special guest chatter, Angel Terragon. What did you get this week? I've got uh, eight titles. Eight? So, oh, that's woo! right. got a lot of stuff. Here we go. Waterworld on Arrow Video. Nice! Is that a slip I box? Do. Yes. That looks oh, like I a hard that. box. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a slip box. Yeah. Oh, that. nice. There's the reversible artwork. We're all ogling it going, that movie is terrible. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, the extended cut's here. great. Yeah. There's a poster and art cards. Uh, you can go to my channel, Elder Secrets. Elder I'm Secrets. The only channel, I'm the only channel with that name, so you can find it fairly easily. All and right. And see uh, an overview on the box set. Very nice. Yeah, that's what I think we're all wanting to get. <laughs> Next up, uh, due to your recommendation, Sean, you said mm. never get the Blu-rays, and I unfortunately already did. Ah. But um, I'm downgrading from the Blu-ray. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, the the Star Trek double disc uh, special editions, nice. Yep. Nice. I posted your channel link in the uh, description. Yeah, those are great. Studio. Thank you. I still have. Um, all, all ten of them, basically, and I have the only Blu-ray I bought was the 50th anniversary edition of Star Trek II, because that was the mm -hmm. only one they remastered. I, I don't even have that yet. I, I still need to get that. But yeah, uh, that on. one is worth getting. Okay, move the rest of these were well, including Star Trek. These were this was a twenty dollar haul from Big Lot. So nice. I was a fan. Yeah, Paul Blart Mall Cop. <laughs> nice. Good old Paul. I Blart. enjoyed that movie. I, I watched that movie. I, I saw that with my my mom years ago, and I loved it. So nice. And this is Limitless. I saw Limitless. the TV series, and I freaking loved it, so I definitely got to check out the movie. Oh. There's another There's another cut as well, which I'd love to get my hands on. So. Cool. Oh, hmm. I didn't know they had a movie. I didn't and, know they uh, had a series. <laughs> <laughs> I knew about both, but I haven't seen either. <laughs> Van Forstick. Oh, God. Ugh. Van Forstick. I like, love that. I'm, I'm not the biggest. How much biggest did you spend on that? Is that a dollar? No. Dollar eighty-eight. Oh. You spent a dollar eighty-eight too much. <laughs> <laughs> you should feel shame. Just I'm a little bit of shame. Because I I, uh. I I like this movie. Wow. I, I don't right, love fine. it. I don't hate it. So yeah, I think it's tolerable. I well, hey, yeah. I, good. It, it suits my taste in science fiction. I'll say that much. All right. <laughs> As a sci-fi movie, it's not bad. Heroes, yeah. but in sci-fi ass. Yeah. Like if the, I the main issue. Course, like, original it the, would be fine the main yeah. issue i had with it like I, I was actually kind of quite happily along for the ride through most of it like the the, the first i'd say two-thirds of it i wasn't really having any major issues it was the ending that i thought really just blew it for me because it, it was quite frankly just so boring like i mean you have these four characters with these amazing powers fighting this guy in the middle of like an alternate plane of existence where there's nothing at stake like they could all yeah. die there and the world would be fine <laughs> you know like that that was the problem i had like a big superhero battle for me there should be something tangibly at stake and that was the yeah. that, that was the problem i had with it but um like if it was divorced from the comics and it was its own thing and come out and it was just some yeah. movie that we i would actually i would actually probably like most of that movie but like I hope that as a fan uh, of the comics, it's just like. I mean, I think we're all cool. hoping that if, when, whenever the Disney Fox deal goes through, is that we get a Marvel universe, like an MCU oh, Fantastic Four geez. movie, and bring them into set the, in the 60s, continuity. Please. Oh, that'd be great if it was set in the sixties. 
Although I don't know how they would link it up with the the modern day stuff for everything else. It might be. They come out of the wormhole in modern times with the power. (laughs) Then they'd be fishes out of water like Captain America, not getting all these modern pop references. Every good story is a fish out of water story. (laughs) It's someone going someplace they're not accustomed to and doing brave things. Well, that's the 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 the, the hero's journey. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it'd be really easy, especially with the Infinity War stuff, yeah. Rio two. Rio, Rio two. I saw the I saw the first one in the theater and I really loved it and I haven't seen this one yet, so nice. For dollar eighty eight, I thought I'd pick it up and give it a chance. A sad That's note, funny. apparently the type of bird that Rio is inspired by is now officially extinct. Oh god. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. bummer. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Dick. Thank you. So Remember that every time you watch Rio. <laughs> You're welcome, <Yeah>. kids. <laughs> I do want to see those movies. They look they look fun. Yeah, no, they do for sure. I love those types of movies. And another one for dollar eighty eight, the remake of Robocop. Oh. No, I know this gets a lot of hateful <laughs> reviews, but I've seen it uh, on HBO years ago. I yeah. actually enjoyed it. So I I like aspects of it. Now, now you got to understand, for me personally, the original is a really special movie for me because, it is. A, it's just a great movie, but B, it is also the first R-rated movie I ever saw in the theater, so it holds a very strong nostalgic connection for me. Um, so when I heard they were remaking it, I was just like, ugh, why? And then, but, you know, when I watched it, there are aspects of it that I really liked. Like, I really liked Michael Keaton as the sort of Richard Branson type uh, mm-hmm. guy. I liked Samuel L. Jackson as the trash t- TV show host. Um, and I liked the fact that we actually got to see Ed 209 doing urban pacification, which was discussed in the original but never shown. But we actually get to see Ed 209 in action doing what it was designed to do before it, you know, gets all fucked up later. Right. But, uh, which I like. So there was certain aspects of it that I liked. I just feel that they kind of wasted some opportunities there and didn't do, didn't go as far with it as they could have in terms of, you know, making a more modernized would, version of it. I would have bought it for $1.88. I mean, it's worth $1.88 to me. I, a, I grabbed it out of the bargain bin for a thing with 8 bucks. And just happened to luck out and get it with the slip cover. So you know what's actually surprisingly worth the eight dollar or less bit? Total Recall. That remake of Total Recall has got such an awesome world to it. That is actually a pretty yeah. decent yeah. remake. Uh, I was yeah. surprised. Now you got if you approach it as a different thing because it, it's a lot more espionage than sci-fi, but it works. And there's Based some fun short stories. And I mean, there's also the fun. Thing, it's the same thing with the Time Machine remake. It's yeah. a different story. Yeah. yeah. But there's there's little fun references to the uh, to the Schwarzenegger Total Recall that we made. There's a sort of sly winks to the audience. Mm-hmm. But I actually I was surprised that's by the same thing. that's the same yeah. thing in the in the newer the Mummy remake as well. They had winks to the Brendan Fraser. Yeah, I like the new Mummy oh, movie. Okay. I thought that was fun, yeah. dude. I still have to see that. But uh, you'd like it, Sean. You're gonna like it, I think. Actually, well, <laughs> Stewie, you the like Van Helsing probably better than Helsing, right? <laughs> you never know. You like Van Helsing, and, you're like this a lot better. I, <laughs> I don't know. Van Helsing was pretty awesome. It uh, is, yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly don't feel like um, it holds up against the other, but whatever. No. So the last one <laughs> is uh, a friend of mine has been telling me to watch this for years, so finally mm. I just picked it up. Fault in Our Stars for $3. Oh, I nice. love that fucking movie. I, I have love not the book. seen that. If you want to be a blubbering mess, you watch that movie or read the book. You, nice. I'll tell you what, I put off Sold. the last chapter of that book for like <laughs> a month and a half to the last day until I had to turn it to the library because I just I was like, I know what's going to happen. I don't I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. <laughs> it's a great Tears book, forever. It's a really yeah. good adaptation of the book, too. Nice. I'll have to check that out. I do enjoy movies that turn me into a blubbering mess. Turn and video games. <laughs> <laughs> and just stories in general. Yeah. So, all right. Sorry, was that the last that's one? Or? Awesome. Yes, that's it. That's that was a good, uh, good eclectic mix of stuff. That's very cool. So, how many of the Star Trek ones do you have? Just that one so far? Or are you getting... Uh, actually, I have, like, the first six or seven. Oh, okay. So, I'm only missing, like, eight and nine now. Oh, nice. So, you're nice. almost... almost. Oh, you're off. missing Insurrection? Oh, no. Well, whatever. But I have a right above me. So I, I love I, the movie. I but first contact, first contact. First contact. You got to get that one in there. 
First Contact is aces. And Insurrection's one. okay. Yeah. I, everyone shits on it. It's okay. It's First Contact. Just feels like a really long episode. Yeah. Not in a good way. Insurrection. Yeah, that's true. Insurrection does feel like a more like just an episode. Yeah. Um, yeah, whereas 7 felt more like a movie, 8 definitely felt more like a movie, yeah. and 10 was... And, you know what? I, I, I hate that people shit on it because of Wait. Data Dying. I mean, that's the most human thing he could have done. Which one? Oh, yeah. A Data Dying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Boiler for a 10-year-old movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, that's, actually, that's that moment... Uh, I was I was angry, but like in a in, in the way that the movie wanted me to be angry, like no, Dana, what are you doing? Yeah, like damn it, I was I was upset. Was well, see, what I thought was well, I guess Brent Spiner's finally had enough. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. Write me out. <laughs> no so, more yellow on. contacts. For <laughs> fuck's sake. Contacts a solid Star Trek movie, a really solid Star Trek movie. Yeah. Like, well, I, honestly, fun. and uh, Insurrection, or not Insurrection, uh, Nemesis also introduced me, anyway, to uh, Tom Hardy. Yeah. I had never seen him before. and uh, That's the early role for him. Yeah. In state, at least. Yeah. yeah. And he was, uh, I, I don't know if I quite bought him as a young Picard clone, but, <laughs> <laughs> even though they gave him a bigger nose, but uh, <laughs> a more regal Patrick Stewart-esque nose. He looks at it. least close to Patrick Stewart. At least. Yeah. I mean, at least I think that's what they're going for more than anything. But I like... Uh, but speaking yeah. of which, uh, I think we got a poster this month, or this week, didn't we, for uh, Star Trek Destiny, the What's Captain that? Picard series coming out, oh. which takes place, like, however many years it's been since Nemesis came out. So, it'll be the... It's, it's notable in that it'll be the first... Star Trek anything that takes place post Nemesis. I hope they make a note of how he looks like he hasn't aged today. That's <laughs> that tea Earl Grey man, I tell you. It is like the ultimate cleansing, <laughs> detoxifying tea. <laughs> I'm thinking of just switching coffee for nothing but tea Earl Grey all day. <laughs> If you know you wouldn't make it. Well, you, you know, it depends. You can get to your old gray that's caffeinated, so I might be okay. <laughs> In fact, a lot of tea, a lot of teas have more caffeine than coffee, so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I found that out late last year when I was getting oh, off my coffee kit. The hard way? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, where's my caffeine withdrawal? I actually feel more energized than ever. <laughs> <laughs> I had switched from coffee to tea, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, well, that was pointless. <laughs> I was drinking coffee all this time when I could have had tea. <laughs> I really want to get things done. <laughs> I'm going to do all the laundry over again. <laughs> and paint the roof. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I just picture you on the roof of the paint roller going, I had tea! I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 Big goofy face. Duggan says, you just reminded me that I need to make my tea. Yes, you should get on that. You should get on that. I actually found a song in my music uh, selection earlier called Mr. T, and we thought of you as T-E-A. Uh, it's like, hey, we found Duncan's theme song. <laughs> Well, was it Mr. T? No, it was Mr. T, as in T E A. Oh. Yeah, the drink. Yeah, there were no and, uh, there were no fools to pity. No fool, no fools to pity. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my turn. Right, I do. I got one thing this week. This 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 week, week. and this is something that I've been uh, looking for for quite some time for the Doctor Who uh, collection. It's a Doctor Who item. In case you didn't get I'm this. shocked. But, Shocker. Um, Fucking shocked. But as you know, I'm collecting the novelizations, and I'm into the part of the novelizations where a lot of them didn't have very high print runs, so they tend to be expensive and or hard to find. So I put this one on a Kama Kama Camel alert uh, to see if it went below 30 bucks. It went down to 26 It took, oh, like, literally about three years to hit that price point. I grabbed it. I got it. It's mine. Finally, we have Doctor Who, the power of the Daleks. Camel, camel, camel is your friend. You know, says the word camel three times in a row. Dot com. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Camel, camel, camel. Dot com. You can it's set. User. 
If you want to know how I get all my deals yeah. on Amazon, that's how I get all the limited so, editions and rare shit. So this that, one... That, that, <sighs> wait. Patient. <laughs> I miss a lot of deals, too. It happens in the middle of the night, and I wake up and so, so fuck. All right, so th this one and this one, Evil of the Daleks, were both published by Virgin uh, after the Doctor Who license passed over to them. And uh, the only reason Target didn't do them is there was some kind of rights issue for a while, so it took a while for them to get around to it. Um... But they finally did, and then Virgin published them, and uh, they did not have the same page count limitations that Target had, so these are actually quite nice, meaty volumes. With Power is 253 pages, and Evil is 288, so good, uh, thorough adaptations there. They were both seven-part story. Or no, the first one, Power of the Dogs was a six-parter, Evil of the Dogs was a seven-parter. But, um, but yeah, so it's great to finally have, have Power of the Daleks in the collections, the first uh, story of the second Doctor course, and it's considered one of the all-time great Dalek stories. It was the ones where the Daleks were uh, given emotions and such, and uh, mm. it was uh, quite... Is that the... Wait a minute. Is that the, I always get that mixed up with the other one. Um, yeah, well, here, I'll just read the back here. Um, <clears throat> the stranger drew himself up to his full height. I am the Doctor, he announced. Disoriented after his regeneration, the Doctor takes the TARDIS to the Earth colony Vulcan. Yes. Vulcan before Star Trek. Uh, actually, no. This would have been around the same time as Star Trek, come to think of it. Um, anyway, Ben and Polly are disturbed. The Doctor isn't the man he used to be. The Doctor, too, is worried. The colonists have found the remains of two Daleks, which they plan to revive. Once revived, the Daleks claim that they are content to serve humanity. Can it really be true? Or do they have their own more sinister plans? Dun, dun, dun. Of course, they do. Da, 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 da. Now, of course, Power of the Daleks also uh, was animated recently because, of course, they have all the audio from it, uh, but none of the episodes remain complete. They're lost, but they uh, uh, basically did a full animated adaptation from the audio and uh, released it on DVD and Blu-ray a little while ago, and uh, so we can at least enjoy the story. But uh, quite notable in that it's the first story of the second Doctor, uh, following the first ever regeneration. It's a pretty big, notable Dalek story. Yeah, I think Evil of the Daleks is the one where they get... Yeah, the Evil of the Daleks is the one where they get human emotions. That's the one. Power of the Daleks is they're just being sneaky. But uh, <clears throat> both really good really good stuff. So there's a few other... So this is like one of the big Holy Grail novelizations, so it was quite uh, exciting to finally get it in, into the collection. Um, so there's still a few others that are kind of lingering... I know uh, the the wheel in space is a big rare one. Um, I know the hardcover in particular is rare, but I'm more interested in the paperback. And the reason is apparently it only ever had one print run, and it wasn't a very high print run compared to other stories. I guess because it's not as popular of a story. It's a Cyberman story. I'm surprised that it's not. As, and it's also the first appearance of Zoe, so I'm kind of surprised it's not considered more popular or important. Um, and then there, there was apparently a big warehouse fire where a lot of the existing stock was stored and uh, they never reprinted it. <laughs> so it's even more rare as a result and thus even more expensive. So that's probably the one I'm going to end up paying the most for. The lowest I've seen the paperback go for is about 60 bucks US. Okay, so it's not exorbitantly expensive. It's not ridiculous. The hardcover, however, I've seen go for as much as 2500 See, that's stupid. Yeah. That's, that's ridiculous. Obscene. Yeah. That's obscene. Yeah. No. I mean, uh, so, no, I mean, I don't care about the hardcover anyway, but some people like the hardcovers and collect oh, yeah. those. Because uh, most of the novelizations Shelf candy, man. got hardcover editions. When but, you pay uh, $2,500 for a book, you're not reading it. That's shelf candy. Yeah. <laughs> you're putting it there because that's a, that's a flex item. That's an right. item you put on your shelf because other collectors go, fuck, I wish I had that. Yeah, and exactly. Like, fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with buying those things. I like how you call it a flex, flex item. That's good. It's like you flex. You get, you're, dude, flex. You're, you're flexing you're, your collection, yeah. Look, I got this limited edition candle. This is a weird flex, but like, it's a movie <laughs> flex. Like, it's a movie nerd flex, right? There you go. <laughs> it's like, who the fuck has They Live Candles, right? Yeah. <laughs> Inha like, oh, it has inhale on it. That's great. Yeah, dude. Nice. Smells like bubble gum. It's <laughs> It smells like bubble gum. That's perfect. No, like, it, it's got Roddy Piper. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, yeah. that, that's like a, that's a flex. It's a limited that's edition a, item. It's a like, rarity. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For it's sure. obscurity. It's a rarity. So, it's something that everyone has, right? So, yeah. So, that this is that one. There's a couple of others that are rare-ish 
But mm-hmm. uh, the vast majority of the hard to find ones I found by now, uh, the rest will just be kind of general fills. Um, yeah, so the the collection's coming. I haven't done a count on it lately, but I'm pretty sure I've got at least a half, maybe two thirds of them now. Um, so it's getting there. It's getting there. I've got over half of the second Doctor Adventures now too. There's just a few fills I need there to to fill it out. And uh, yeah, and I have been reading them. So the the intention is to get back to doing the story by story reviews at some point. Um, look forward to that. Huh? I look forward to that. Yeah, no, a lot of people do. I, it's probably one of the things I've been asked about the most is when are you going to get back to the story by story reviews? It's like I don't know. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I mean, the only reluctance has been because it takes such a long time to put them together because I have to read the book, I got to watch mm-hmm. the story again, then watch the story again with the commentary then watch all the extras of the story, and then read about any additional behind-the-scenes stuff I have in my behind-the-scenes books, and then for each story. <laughs> yeah, a lot of hours, so yes, it, want to do them. It know. takes a lot. Anyone so, who says that being a YouTuber is easy has no fucking clue. <laughs> it's, it's, it's easy if all it takes you do dedication, is man. It's <laughs> easy if all you do is this. I watch this movie, blah, blah, blah. If that's all you do, then yeah, it can be easy. Yeah. So you just gotta talk, if you're good at talking about the... Yeah. something you just watched and yeah and, I, and I could i could easily do it that way but i choose not to like i want to of course get more in depth like in particular like i find it interesting to read the book and watch the show and then compare the two because there's almost always some kind of difference sometimes it's mm-hmm. not a big difference it's just a straight up adaptation other times there's a huge difference or sometimes i have whole scenes in the book that aren't in the show um and it's interesting to go into those differences and uh, kind of compare them. And a lot of the, the novelizations I'm reading for the first time, like a lot of ones that I had back in the day, I never got around to reading. I read maybe half of them, the ones that I had, but I didn't read all of them. So uh, so it's interesting to me to actually be reading these for the first time as well. And, uh, you know, experiencing that version of the story. Um, I mean, I remember growing up in the 80s watching Doctor Who, the novelizations were the only way we could experience a lot of those lost stories. Because they hadn't released reconstructions or, or telesnaps or the audio recordings or anything yet. So that was it. That was the only way we could experience those stories. So, you know, it's uh, interesting. It's good stuff. I can't wait for you. I can't wait until you get around to doing one that you want to do. Because I, I, I like watching them. And I know I'm like one of like 13 people who watch them. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I do enjoy them. So when you do feel like you want to... Uh, to like do one, I'd love to see it. You know. Yeah, for sure. Well, and I know I will eventually. I mean, I'm I'm sort of still in the process of getting back in the swing of things. It's been a rough, almost two thirds of a year, but things oh, are, yeah. things are finally sort of settling down and getting back to normal and uh, getting back in the swing of things. You know. You're you're one of the inspirations for that that Car Wars video, history of Car Wars video. I want to do it's the same kind of like oh, that yeah? kind of dedicated to a video. I want to do one of those, one, a few of those videos. Nice. I just, you know, right now I'm at uh, I'm. Dealing with a lot of uh, other money issues. Yeah, first. no, it's it's a lot of work to do those kinds of things, especially when you want to be thorough and not half-ass it. And, <laughs> I've and when you're your own worst critic, you know? you know, I gotta buy a European exclusive set, which is gonna cost yeah. me a couple hundred bucks. <clears throat> yeah. And then I gotta buy seventy dollar cars. I'm missing seven cars at seventy bu- bucks a pop. See, that's another reason I kind of hesitated because I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take me to get the fills I need for the uh, for the novels. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got all of the first Doctor novels, and I've got about half of the second Doctor novels, and then I've got a random selection of the rest. Um, so I-, I wanted to make sure I didn't get too far along so that I hit a point where I didn't have the next book. <laughs> but, uh, but I've got about 30 or so consecutive stories in terms of the novels now, so from the point where I left off. Nice. So I should be fine at least for... Time being. And you were going to do the novelization stories in the chronological order, or were you just going to do them as your whim? No, I was going to do them all in order. I was gonna basically going to yeah. go through all the stories in, in See, when you force order. yourself to do them all in order, you might be like hampering yourself. You might be wanting to just do a random Tom Baker one or something, you know, just to... I don't know. So you can get some Well, I mean, part, part of the reason to do it that way also is to get up, pick up on all the little connections in mm-hmm. the continuity sort of as it develops. And if I just kind of jump around, I might miss something. That's my concern. Is no, but, but like maybe that. occasionally take a break from the chronological ones too. Like, well, I mean, minute. I'll do that just for my own sanity. Is I'll just take a break and watch an old favorite story. Mm-hmm. Um, but 
Yeah, I mean that's that's I mean that's also operating under the assumption that I'd be just going flat out doing these like crazy, but I'm not. <laughs> you don't they don't make enough use for you to do that. No, you know? exactly. If I was doing it like every day and needed like a break, then yeah, I would do something like that. But uh, this is going to be like a once in a while thing that I do at some point eventually, probably. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, maybe. If I feel like it, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. Say, oh boy, I can't wait to see that. It's like, yep. No. Well, if you ever decide to do them, I'd be interested in watching them. Is if, all I'm saying. If I ever Sorry. do them, I'm sure you'll enjoy them, and I appreciate you committing to watch them in advance. <laughs> and if I could, I would leave comments of support. Like that was great. That's right. But you know, you turned that off. So. I do. I mean, I'll just tell you, and I'll just say, hey, John, that was great. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, it is almost 11.30. I think we are done, unless anybody has anything they want to add. Nope. Okay, then. Nope. <laughs> nope. Good. We had, a good. we had a long show. There was lots of talking. It was good. No, it was a good show. Great guys. rant. It's good to see oh, Angel yeah. and Chris again. I haven't seen you guys on for a while, and always yeah. welcome. Happy and, to be uh, here. Alrighty, so. <sighs> where are we going here? Okay. Uh. Duh. Uh. <laughs> it is clearly time to end the show. All right. Well, have yourselves a great uh, day, night, or evening. Whenever you happen to be watching this, we'll see you next time. Uh, I'm not doing any more streaming today. I'm done for today. I'm just going to chill and, uh, you know, maybe watch some yeah. porn. All you right. Take the time <laughs> off yourself, man. Exactly. So have yourselves a wonderful day or night, and we will see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara. Penis. Dicks! Lots of dicks! That's the wrong button. Damn it. Oh. Hang on. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Bye, everybody! Bye, Joseph.